And when you the GXRF3. Oh shit, wrong floor. couple of cosplay guys i told y'all this would be a bad idea to set up in front of an elevator mm. right next to an anime convention yeah you're right the cleanup is brutal after this <laughs> You weren't supposed to hear any of that. You weren't supposed to hear shit. I, you weren't supposed to hear not any of that yet. Uh, what the fuck? You know, my OBS be lying to me uh, about, oh, hey, this, this, this playback isn't going to start at all if you uncheck it in the settings. And you know what happens? It plays anyway after it's been unchecked in the settings that it won't play. So, hey, guys, you know, instead of getting mad and in front of you guys and... Being pissed that it was supposed to be a secret. Well, I mean, none of you guys really saw it. But still, as far as, you know, playback, if, you, if you're if you watching this, if it ain't live because you are, you are a sorry-ass bitch, then guess what? I still didn't want you to see that. But anyway, we got a lot. We got some folks in here. Anyway, yeah, it's Free to Think Free coming at you live with the OG Bum Bum on the corner here, sniffing this, this, this heat. OG Mo Bum, that's pretty disgusting. Mm, what, are you, what are you talking about? You're 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 smelling jankum. You're doing jankum right now. You know this is really unlike you. Man, fuck you, nigga. I'm gonna do whatever I want. Okay, OG. Well, OG Mo Bum, uh, he he got into some jankum. And if you don't know what that is, uh. All I'll say is, uh, dog doo doo in the bag. I mean, not necessarily dog doo doo, but it is doo doo in the bag. 
Uh, the end. So anyway, yeah, uh, sorry for this black ass screen. I clicked on the wrong scene. I don't feel like clicking anywhere else because the OBS will probably crash. But it's good. So it's a pleasure to see you all. Here we are. I'm about to boot this game up. Let's see how well it runs because I didn't run it yet. Because everything, you know how my channel is. If you want to, if you want an authentic um, reaction out of me about any game I play, you have to start from scratch. You can't play it and see if it works. I mean, I did that last time from RoboCop, and it still ended up being like, you know, it, it still crashed even though I didn't test it. Oh no, you know, no, it crashed. After I still tested the game is what I meant to say. And even when I turned it on, I'm just like, well, let's hope this runs. And when I put on my OBS, game started just fucking having seizures. So anyway, we got OG Finger. Licka! In the junkyard, welcome back. Boss there, welcome back. Hope there's talking points. I'm listening only. You're a loser. Anyway, uh, uh, but then he said, man, I love that Scream audio. It's a classic. Yeah, I bet he's busy, so that's probably why he's like, I'm listening only. So I don't blame him. Also, I got all three of my mods here, so... You better be uh, behaving there, bums. In the chat. Javier says, if the, if the last game is a sign, I'm not sure. This is going to be one stream game. Sure. Javier, welcome back to the junkyard. Master Sprinter Sign. Welcome back. Yeah, I remember seeing you. Uh, one of my newer fans. At least, this is my first time seeing you. Alright, here we go. Booting this game up. Let's see what happens. Anytime now. But anyway, yeah, so, I mean, obviously this is my last gun grave stream. I'm sure I may or may not be streaming it again, but it depends on if it's worth a playback or not. But I am trying to move on to other games in front of you guys to play. I figured that we had about, you know, just enough of checking out this here, uh, what do you call it? Gungrave Trilogy, because you already get it, you know? It, it's a decent game series, with uh, most of it being just the fact that it's uh, made by the artist as a familiar person. Oh, look! They finally are actually adding red as, like, red entertainment. They're using a red logo to say red entertainment. That's how you do it. Because on the PS2 games, they would just use that dragon intro, and it would blow hot-ass breath in you, and then next thing you know, it was just like a blue background, blue letter, red entertainment. I'm like, wait a minute, that's not red at all. <laughs> so anyway, guys, Fallen Angel, welcome back. I'm here for another one. Another one. Wait a minute, speaking of that, speaking of that, let's see if we can pull this motherfucker out. Let's see where he is. Let's see where he is. Where is he? Uh, I'll find him. I'll find him. There he is. Tell him to bring out the lobster. Yes, sir. Tell him to bring out the All lobster. Right. Look at these babies. Tell him to bring out the lobster. Surfing. <laughs> Tell him to bring out the lobster. Hey, blue ass lobster nigga. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and adjust the brightness right quick. Hell yeah, why not? Where's my controller? Why isn't my controller working? Oh boy. Oh no. Uh, please work. Oh no, it might not actually work. <laughs> uh oh. Uh, Boss Theory says, when are we going to edit us a video? Showing us how Law clearly went to get plastic surgery because he's a gay guy and you're gay too. The only person here who's gay in this room is people who play King and like to play uh, 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 King. Okay, in all seriousness, um, why... I just, I just, all right, let me start over. Maybe this game doesn't like me using uh, my controller. And if that's the case, I'm going to actually have probably a very shitty stream. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Uh, 
it should be controller accessible. I just want to play with my controller. It's cooked up and everything. I would know it's hooked up because I fucking... Let me check. Bro, yeah, it's hooked up. It's hooked up. I don't know why it wouldn't work. Please work. Press any key. Okay, fine. Fuck you. Let's, let's try using the keyboard for now, but I better fucking find a way to get this thing working. Alright, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Text, language, English, English. Well, we're Americans, okay? So we're gonna play this game all Americanese. But I wanna know why my... Oh, shit. Intro? Intro? This is intro? I'll turn off the live chat real quick. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, what the hell just happened? Oh, and it's loud as fuck, too. Oh, my gosh. Cell shade amount has been added. Cell shade amount. Yeah, I don't care. Why can't my fucking keyboard work? Well, why can't my controller work? Damn, this is loud as fuck, guys. I'm sorry. Um. Right now, I'm trying to see if I can get this controller to work, and it's not working. Yeah, see, look, it's like keyboard and mouse. No, I'm not. I don't want to use keyboard and mouse. I don't want to use keyboard and mouse. Oh my gosh. You got to be kidding me. I actually think this game doesn't use keyboard and mouse. Even though it's a fucking PlayStation 4 game. Oh. This is lame. Uh, Master Sprinter says, I was wondering, do you like any of King of Fighters games? Free, and if so, which one's your favorite? King of Fighters or 98? Yeah, 98 and uh, 2002. You know what else I like? I like it on my controller is, you know, going to work at some point. Here, let me see if I can unplug it and then turn it back on. Uh... Well... This isn't good. This isn't good. You got to be fucking kidding me. Uh, give me just like maybe a minute or two guys but I think I'm not gonna have fun playing this game already unknown oh so now it's unknown controller support oh that's cool to know so you don't know if this fucking game actually works oh fuck me this sucks I gotta play a keyboard. I gotta play a keyboard, I guess, guys. I actually have to play a keyboard. This game does not support... It says, uh, official layout for gun grave gore gamepad with game camera controls. Yeah, I'm using the controller right now. Like, it, it, Steam says so, but it looks like Steam didn't think about me having a PS4 controller that wants to play gun grave gore, which is a PS4 fucking game. It's not on Xbox One. Oh, boy. All right. Well, you know what? Fuck it. Maybe this is going to be the last gun game stream. Like, and it'll probably be a short one, too, if I can't figure this out. Because nothing makes me more mad that uh, Steam has yet to, you know, some people have yet to figure out how to make me uh, be able to play with my controller on my uh, PC. Must be these people didn't think about porting everything properly from, you know, P PS4 to PC. But whatever. If if that happens, oh wait, wait, wait! I think it, I think it picked it up. I think it picked it up. It is on Xbox. Well, why the fuck is this thing not working? All right, let's check out the the, the intro right quick. I can't turn off the, the the chat because if I do, the game like cancels into the main menu. Oh, that's crazy. Hope you guys can hear it. Oh, 
I also shut up during these intros, so I'm gonna mute myself. He's high as fuck. Wow, what an intro. In fact, I'm pretty confused on what the hell I just saw. But, alright, my inputs are working. Yay! Yay! Yeah! <laughs> There is no sound in the intro. Did I mute it? Well, that that was the, that was the intro, by the way. Like the intro was, it was just that quiet. It, there was nothing. But I need to check to see if the game isn't like turned off or something. Ah, everything's on. It says it's on all cylinders. Yeah, no, like that's that's just how quiet the game is. So anyway, for those that are trying to get a brief catch up to speed on on Gungrave, um. I'm going to spoil this game for about the next uh, five minutes. Uh, all right, so let me see where I can find myself. All right, 17 minutes in and 15 seconds. I'm going to start the spoiler alert. And three, two, one, go. Okay, so for those that are interested, no matter what, Gungrave is about a guy who's got a fucking giant coffin for, that's a gun, and he died because... Uh, he was betrayed by a guy named, um, Greeno or some shit. Anyway, so his story is, is that he comes back from the dead by this doctor named Dr. T for, for some reason. And then, he gets met up by some random little tiny little girl, like, you know, 15, 16, who cares. So anyway, look. She comes in, grabbing a, carrying a suitcase. The suitcase, uh, contains two pair, a pair of guns. And they look really weird. They look like the gun Gungrave, uh, is holding. That's the guy's name, by the way, is now Gungrave, not Brandon Heat. But anyway, so he comes back from the dead because of Dr. T, and now he's like, hey, this girl, she's on the run from the same mafia, same fucking, you know, hitman group, organization, whatever you want to call it, syndicate, that uh, she is the daughter of one of the people uh, uh, that you might know there, uh, Gungrave or Brandon Heat. So Brandon Heat or Gungrave, he don't care. He don't talk. He don't do anything. He's like basically dead. But his body's reanimated, and in a way, he still has a conscience to just kind of do whatever. And he just shoots up everything. He shoots up like the main bosses, main ringleaders of the game, right? From like both Gun Gungrave one and two. Well, anyway, so this Garino guy, I guess, that shot Brandon Heat, um, he had a son in the second game, and his son is a big piece of shit. But, uh, and that the entire time, this syndicate has grabbed a hold of what's called, uh, uh, Seed. And Seed is like this weird, crazy, artificial-looking human baby seed cell structure. Basically, it transforms you into an alien-looking creature because that Seed is actually an alien-looking creature. And it's just, they're trying to use that to take over the world. So you, Grave, Gun Grave, whatever, Brandon Heat... Or you're trying to stop him. Well, you end up meeting this kid named Spike, and Spike is uh, apparently uh, a clone of of uh, uh, Garino, like son. I forgot his name, but the son of Garino end up taking over. He end up shooting his dad, taking him over, uh, killing him, turning him into a seed monster, and then you you kill off uh, you know him, right? But like in the middle of all that, right, you end up uh, losing the kid that was actually the son of. Uh, uh, Garino, uh, Garino's son, right? So the grandson, but he was like a clone, right? He's like a clone. Uh, by the way, uh, the girl that I'm talking about, her name is Mika, so she comes back, she's like 17 years old, uh, and she's trying to, you know, again, still stop, you know, the, the this, this, this mafia, but she ends up getting affected by seed, then Gungrave was like, no, you, you need to live, and they end up injecting her with, like, some fucking vial that, like, uh, stops her from turning into a monster because when you get injected with seed, you become a monster. So um, that that was the ending of the last game I played, uh, Gungrave Overdose. So um, whatever this game is, I don't know because I've only seen trailers of this game, and I'm curious to actually know what how they're gonna even continue a story that looked like it officially ended like almost more over 20 years ago. Actually, more than actually, yeah, more than 20 years ago. 
Uh, that's how old uh, Gungrave is. It like, came out 2003, 2000, 2004. So actually, exactly on the dot, it is about 20 years old. Um, by the way, I think I'm done uh, spoiling the game, so I'm trying not to talk too much about uh, the story. But other than that, like the game is 20 years old. So uh, if you are interested, I guess, in knowing what's going on, if you didn't want to get spoiled for about five minutes, Check out the uh, other streams of me playing, or get yourself this game if you can. It's hard to find, by the way. It's a very scarce series, and that people uh, who who uh, know about it, they're, they're either real diehard anime fans, or they might know some things about a few other animes that the creator, uh, director of this, the whole art style of this game series, he, you know, you might be able to know some because of that, which you might know Gungrey because of, you know what I'm saying? Any other siblings? No, but there's oh. ten brothers and sisters. Uh-huh. You're the youngest, aren't you? Yeah. Well, how did you know that? Anyway, so anyway, back to what I was saying, right? Okay, um, so we're going to play this game. This is like the last game that came out. It came out about two years ago, 2022. So it's pretty still hot to press as far as like knowing anything about Gungrave. Uh, let me read the chat right quick and then we'll get started. All right, so we got here. Um, yeah, so I like King of Fighters 98. Uh, that was the first game I played, by the way. Um, boss Theory, yeah, to answer your question, uh, fuck you, uh, there's nothing wrong with Law. Well, don't get me wrong, Law does look pretty very different. He looks very, very different, but, like, not different enough to where I can't be like, oh, that's martial law. But, yeah, no, um, y you need to get plastic surgery, faggot. Javia said lobster. Yeah, tell him to bring out the lobster! Um, we got... Uh, I'm reading the chat. Oh, okay. So there's really nothing. Yeah, you guys are just trying to help me out playing this game. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, Senator Abby Strong, welcome back to the junkyard. The Gone Grave Three is real. Only took him like two decades. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so anyway, uh, I'm going to go ahead and start playing, but let me see if I can do some stuff to the game. Subtitles on? Okay, yeah, that's all I need to know. Okay, 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 never mind. Um, yeah, yeah, Abby Strong, yeah. You, you, so you get to play as uh, one of the characters from the other game, which, I mean, it's not really a spoiler, but there's two other characters that are that, that matter to the game, and the second game, of course. Because it helps, it helps expand on, like, I guess, like, the whole, like, what Gungrave, who, like, what he is and why he is the way he is. But, yeah, one of the other characters, Rocket Billy Red Cadillac. My name's Rocket Billy Red Cadillac, and I'm here to give you guys quite an extraordinary show. In other words, his name actually is, uh, he's, so he plays guitar and he wears red, like Eno. So we call him Yes Come on everybody Come on everybody Yeah 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 that's Rocket That's ES Alright let's play this game Oh no it's easy uh, Made for light enjoyment Normal difficulty made for players already been familiar with action shooters Hard difficulty mode for players to enjoy a challenge Well after that last game I wouldn't be I, I just Mm, I don't feel like it. I do not feel like want to deal with that. Come on, everybody. Let's. What the fuck? Also, my personal grudge against the Raven Clan as well. So far, 
We tried our best to stop the spreading of the seed. Boss Maya also found out that there was a seed refinery in Scumland. Scumland, or the island, is totally under Raven Clan's control. Raven Clan is a drug cartel ran by four bosses. They call themselves a corporate company, but we all know that they are the biggest drug cartel in the world. Yen Sen Boostmaster. He is one of the four bosses of the Raven Clan. There is an intel that he was spotted in Hong Kong. He is a cold-blooded scum that likes to kill people with his katana. Why is he stiff looking? For some reason, he really stiff looking animation. And she is also one of the four Raven Clan bosses. They say that she sings the song of death, but I'm not too sure. Okay, I couldn't pause it because I really wanted to pause it so fucking bad. Um, uh, uh, is there a... Okay, is this game going to continue if I talk? Because I wanted to talk about the immediate uh, red flag that I have about uh, modern game storytelling. Wait, it mutes the game too? What? Okay, alright. So, what the fuck now? I can't just... Why is this game muting? You guys can't hear the game at all? Oh my gosh. Give me a fucking break, dude. Give me a fucking break. Ugh. Let me figure something out, guys. Don't worry. Like, we're, we're right we're right on it. Like, everything seems almost about, like, firing on all cylinders. I just gotta figure out what the fuck is going on now as far as the audio not working for you cats. So, um, why isn't it? It says it's active. Like, it says it's active. So you guys really can't hear anything? If I mute, because I was trying to mute myself so you don't have to hear an echo. But you're telling me this game is like, is it that quiet or something? Oh boy. Okay, well, you know what? Let me just, just play the fucking game. Let me check to see, like, what the audio looks like if I play. Oh, okay. Guys, give me a second. Give me a second. I'm sorry, guys. I, I, I'm fucking this whole thing up right now. Well, I, I don't know what happened to that right there. I don't know why the audio to this game is all of a sudden now not fucking working. I haven't done anything in particular to make this damn game... Do it, do this, and I haven't fucked with the OBS like that. The desktop audio is unmuted. Here, let me see if I can, uh, let me just, just check something right quick. I want to, like, just run, like, a quick audio check. I don't get why this thing is, uh, not working all of a sudden. Okay. Now my computer audio is fucked up. <sighs> Gotta fix it now. God fucking damn it. Jesus Christ. Lord have mercy. I'm so fucking pissed off right now. <sighs> what, what did I do? What, 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 what's wrong with this now? What, what's wrong with it? 
Because I thought you guys could hear the entire time. Monitor, monitor off. I, I don't know what it happened, man. Here, let me unmute my, let me turn off my mic. Let me, like, unplug and try some. Fucking hell. Okay. Let me... Uh... I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Um... Only thing that will work is if I, uh, close out the OBS... And I'll see you guys in like five minutes or something like that. How about that? Does that sound good? Technically, it doesn't sound good because I'm ending the stream. But like at the same time, this it's, the same, it's still the same stream up. So let me come back five minutes and see if the audio fixes itself if I have to reboot OBS. I'm really pissed off right now. All right. See you guys later. Hey, guys. I'm back. And I have bad news. And this really sucks. Uh, which still sucks because I think maybe this game, I mean, you guys can hear it because my audio, my mic is picking up the audio of the game. Okay. So, uh, right now I have bad news and it looks like I don't know what the hell's wrong now with my desktop audio coming through for the OBS, but it could be because of the game. It could be because of the game. That's a shame. But I'm really upset now because I had, it, it really fucked up everything for me. Like, just smoothly working. I went through and made sure everything was good before I started. And still, there's always something that's just fucking up what I want to do. Okay. Well, this is so fun. People are leaving and I'm really I'm even more pissed. Uh, I'm really mad. Okay, so let's go ahead and start over. Um, Because you couldn't hear the intro. So what's going to have to happen is that I'm going to go ahead and start over and just have this mic just crank the fuck up. You're going to hear me ear rape. I'm sorry, guys. I know it's not fun to listen to. I've, I've been not trying to do it on purpose. But now this fucking game, whatever it is, is, is pissing me off and it's not working the way it's supposed to. Gosh, fucking damn it. Whatever. So I'm trying to figure out why this thing at work again, but I, I can't do it in front of you guys. Javius says I looked up the game. The game apparently the PC uh, the PC port is extra bork in an update that came to PS4 version and never came to PC. Oh, so I'm playing a fucked up version of Gungrave uh, Gore, huh? Yeah, no, it's fucking up. It's like my 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 desktop audio is like completely out. You only hear the game because my mic is that insanely, like, maxed out. And it still has, like, the game as if, like, I have a uh, finger liquor next to me. And I turned it up so you can hear him talking from across the room. But, you know, yeah, no, so it, it's all fucked up right now, and I'm pretty upset. Anyway, so we're just going to have to work with, you know, you listening to me shit talk. Um, a little bit louder than usual, of course, I mean, uh, you could be, oh, but you, you've never been, you, you've always had bad audio, well, I don't try to rape your ears on purpose, um, I'm trying to make sure everything is working, but it's not, so, I'm gonna start over the intro to this game, because I actually wanted to talk about my pet peeve when it comes to these type of game intros, um, it, let's just ignore the audio issue for now, and just, just try to play this game, and see what happens. I'm trying to start over. Let's see if I can start. I think the game won't let me start over. I think I have to, like, delete the save file. Because you guys didn't hear the intro to the game. Because there's, like, this stupid teeny bopping bitch that, uh, you know, reminds me of, like, lollipop chainsaw type of shit that, like, I can't stand. So, yeah, the game won't repeat itself. 
it won't repeat itself. It's pretty lame. I want to turn this. I want to turn this. Like I want to start over. I, I'm sorry, guys. I can't. I want to start over. I know. I know. I'm being over the top right now. I don't care. I want to figure out. Yeah, reset save data. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Yeah, let me res let's reset the save data. So you can hear the actual intro again. I thought you guys were able to hear it the entire time. Well, thanks for letting me know, JVO. I, I like I said, I go into things blind because this is actually a reason why I do. I can react like this the way I do, which is like I guess if it really is because of the game, it is that sincere that I'm pretty pissed off that uh, these people can uh, port this game properly to a, a junkyard PC such as my, you know, such as mine. Um, so that lets me know that people still have issues, even in smaller studios, trying to bring back a game franchise is pretty dead. Um, you know, you, you, you sit there and fucking, um, watch these people, like, still fuck up porting the game and shit because, you know, they don't know how to do anything. So, uh... Guys, for tuning in, welcome, welcome, got to the dragon, welcome back, Fibra, welcome back to the junkyard. Um, yeah, that's what I just said earlier, Abby Strong. I was like, at least the uh, logo is finally red, right? Um, so you guys did like even warn me at first that there's no like audio coming through, but I thought it's because the audio of this intro is so like low that you thought you weren't hearing anything, and I did mute myself because. I was trying to, I'm trying to be like, hey, let's listen to what's going on. But yeah, no, guys, you're absolutely fucking right, though. Um, this game actually has an issue with its audio right now, and it sucks. Um, but that's what you've been hearing, is just a whole lot of ambience. I thought the ambience was quiet enough for you to, like, not be able to hear it, so that's what I'm getting at. Um, for those that are tuning in, I have an issue right now with my desktop audio, but I'm not going to fix it. I'm just gonna keep playing the game uh, for what it is. All right, uh, let's 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 have you guys check out this intro one more time. Um, through my mic, you're going to hear the game's audio, so you can hear like the story, and you'll hear me bitch about why I can't stand this. Let's just keep. Let's just. I could not catch Gonpo, and I got a severe injury. That is when Mika, as I call her, boss, and I met. She saved my life. And that grim-looking guy, armed with a huge coffin and two guns, was next to her. And then there was the El Al Canal. This is the group that boss leads to eradicate the seed. I had to join the team since I owe my life to boss. Of course, there is also my personal grudge against the Raven Clan as well. So far, we tried our best to stop the spreading of the seed. Boss and I also found out that there was a seed refinery in Scumland. Scumland, or the island, is totally under Raven Clan's control. Raven Clan is a drug cartel ran by four bosses. They call themselves a corporate company, but we all know that they are the biggest drug cartel in the world. Yen Sen Boostman. The biggest cartel in the world. One of the four bosses of the Raven Clan. There is an intel that he was spotted in Hong Kong. He is a cold-blooded scum that likes to kill people with his katana. But for some reason, he really wants to kill Grave. Big Wu Shen. She is called the Witch. And she is also one of the four Raven Clan bosses. They say that she sings the Song of Death, but I'm not too sure. These rumors are full of lies, so people believe what they want to believe. Tyrande. That damn old man. He just seems like an old man on the outside. But he looks suspicious. And watch out for the old man's walking stick, too. And then, there is Godpo. I met Boss because of this guy. But, no thanks to him, my arm was injured. Although, sometimes, this arm comes in handy. Now Boss and that grim-looking guy Grave have head off to Scumland. They'll contact me soon. Until then, I'll have to keep an eye on the situation as well. 
You never know when they'll be needing my help. So I wanted to say it earlier until I found out the audio was all fucked up, but whatever, we'll keep rolling. So one thing I can't stand about storytelling like this, there's nothing wrong with necessarily storytelling, but it's just like, okay, so you got this tiny little girl, little teenage girl, teeny bopper, who like, she, you know, was voicing the entire sequence of that, and the way she talked and the way she carried herself Reminds me of me listening. If I shut my eyes, if you blindfolded me right now and you told me to listen to that entire cutscene of what she's talking about, I would have told you that I'm listening to fucking Borderlands uh, uh, Marvel writing. Because I can't stand how, like, the whole concept of just trivializing, like, like the game for Spoken. Like, the way that they talk about anything in a game is like, People are just like finding out they have superpowers type of shit. Oh yeah, and by the way, I can fly now. Because I'm just that badass. And it's just like, dude, this this shit you're getting into, you're dealing with a bunch of fucking people with guns, firearms, explosives, and now they're fucking around with alien DNA to mutate your ass into a whole fucking different cre creature with to no return. You can't, re you can't reform back. You just... You, you're basically a fucking alien mutant. And, like, this entire time, this girl's just like, yeah, you know, I'm just a normal girl, just doing normal girl things. Until, like, this weird-looking guy with, like, a coffin and this girl who's, like, only 17 years old. Yeah, she, she like, came and rescued me. That's, like, weird. And that's how, like, that was just the feeling I was getting from this entire cutscene. Uh, there is, like, no, like, legit cutscene of how... I get to see this bitch, you know, Mika and, and Gungrave do their thing. This, this, whoever this brand new girl is, is just showing her ass off through her voice. Like, yeah, I was written by clearly a bunch of people, or at least the script was rewritten for us English fags to, to, for us to have Marvel forespoken like writing. And I, and, uh, I, I couldn't tolerate it. It's like I was listening to a Borderland dialogue, and, uh, I, I, um, that's like a pet peeve of mine whenever I listen to this. So already, like, I'm not digging, like, at least the, that cutscene right there. I hope all the other cutscenes aren't that dog shit. Um, yeah, see, JV gets it. Yeah, dialogue's trying to be Marvel. Akuma looking attack. <laughs> um, no, Fangu Lick is not going to come kick the door down this time. Uh, he actually kind of wanted to join in because, one, I did ask, but... He was very mesmerized by retro games, such as Red Dead and, uh, pfft, Red Dead, <laughs> such as, um, Gungrave and Gungrave Overdose, which are, like, games from, like, 2002, 2000, you know, 3, 4, so that's why he played it, you know, um, but, of course, I did want him to play it with me, but he was like, yo, you get the PS2 up and running? I'm down for some retro gaming. Now, whatever the fuck this is, I... Let's just hope this game is any better, you know, than the cutscene I just heard with that Marvel-esque writing. Uh, Abistron says, I just moved shit with my mind. I just moved shit with my freaking mind! Ha! I'm kidding, that wasn't actually, like, something not at Paul Phoenix, but I was just saying, like, like Forspoken... That that type of dialogue which you just heard for this game is the same kind of like reminder of uh Forspoken. Well, let's read this log. Quartz log number one. Boss and I have identified that there is a seed refinery in Scumland that is responsible for the spread of seed. Grave Boss and and, and L I K Can Hell team are now infiltrating the big wall. The gateway to Scumland to find out the truth about the refinery. That scumbag, Gampo, who infected my arm with seed, is probably there, too. Bitch. Damn! Damn, Harley Quinn, where did you get into this game? Hey, wait, June Crest! Welcome back to the junkyard! Fun fact, Gungrave has also cameo from old game, from the old game Chaos Wars. Oh, really? Yes, Javio, thank you for explaining that. Thank you so much. That's what I'm talking about. Joss Whedon, impact on writing will never be forgiven. Joss Whedon, guys, hear me out. Clip this if you want. 
Joss Whedon is single-handedly the fucking reason uh, that a lot of writing, a lot of in-game dialogue, movie dialogues, TV dialogues, that's why they always have, like, this modern-day, like, young people talk, like, Californian, like, uh, 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 upwards and uh, uh, upwards and inf- inflection California girl like talk dialogue bullshit like the, everyone's gotta have a quippy one liner everyone's gotta be having a quirky one liner everyone's trying to be a smart ass every fucking dialogue they get a chance to be smart ass right um like you watch any of the Marvel Avengers movies right and you're like everyone's always saying something right after like some eventful shit happened like I don't know Hulk fucking just rip someone in half, and then Iron Man's like, so that happened, and everyone's like, ha 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 yeah, that's Joss Whedon, Joss Whedon and his style of writing is exactly that, that has completely, and unfortunately pioneered a lot of uh, uh, writing for everybody, that's why God of War Ragnarok fucking sucked, because that was Josh Whedon writing the entire time that they were trying to squeeze in a game where it's all Greek and Norse mythology, mythological shit. Why are they talking like they're from the year 2024 with their fucking smartphones in their hand along with the Chaos Blades and the fucking Leviathan Axe? Like, what What are you doing? You know, Santa, Santa Monica, Montonica, whatever you call it, the studio that made God of War. What are you doing? Why are you making every, all the dialogue sound all modern and shit? So that, yeah, that whole cutscene with Gungrave pissed me off. I'm gonna play this. I'm trying to turn, turn this game up so you can hear it since my desktop audio fucking won't pick up shit anymore. What the fuck is that? That's what he's saying. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Yeah, that was pretty funny. I'm not gonna lie. The site is clear. I'll wait for the Elocano and pester the wall. You breach, clear, and take control of the area site. I wouldn't be surprised if she's still 17, like from the last game. Because that was the joke. The joke was, was like, me and Finger Licker were laughing at how, like, why is that even the fucking dialogue in the first place? Uh, because she, if you play Overdose, she's like, by the way, Gungrave, I'm almost 17 years old, almost grown up. I know you remember me when I was a kid, but look at me now. And it's just like, I don't need to know that. <laughs> So I wouldn't be surprised if he did this shit again where she's like, By the way, Grave, tomorrow's my 18th birthday. And they're like trying to show off her fucking curves and shit. I'm like, please stop. <laughs> Damn, Mika became 801. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But like, again, you don't know if she's of age yet, but who cares? Don't like, don't, 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 don't warp your head too much about that. Don't lust over that, that hard over some fictional shit. Watch me play this game. Oh shit! Oh shit! This game is finally third person shooter! Like, you see that? You look, you see that? That's my camera! Like, left, right, up, down. I'm trying to find a good spot. I'm trying to find a good balance. Since it's, everything's through my uh sp- my spite my speakers, I'm trying to make sure my mic isn't just drowning out whatever I'm saying or what you know what I mean. Look, left, right, up, down, 
Boom, boom. So how Gungrave used to play, guys, was if you had to, like, look left, you had to go, like, I would move left and my character would move left. Like, that's how it would play. It was like tank controls. They finally made it to where it's just a third-person shooter, I guess. And that's kind of funny. Unless, unless, unless. No, they turned it off. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, tank controls. Be gone! Good controls finally. Only took two decades. <laughs> I mean, look. There was, it's, it's not like that it didn't work. It's not like it didn't work. It felt like it, as you kept, as you got used to the controls over time for Gungrave series, like, except this one, um, the controls, you start to kind of get used to it and see it be like, all right, fuck it, like, you know, this is just how the game is played, um, where, like, you have to move left to look left, move right to look right, um, so that, that is, uh, we'll see how this game plays, guys, we'll see how it plays. But yeah, I can't stand that type of gameplay. Holy shit! This game slowed down. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, I know that. I know that. I know that. Right trigger to... Oh, wait, no, that's this auto. Uh, yeah. What the fuck? What's that? Oh, this is a third-person shooter now, like, just straight up. Guys, can you hear the game pretty well? Here, let me turn this up. Oh, man, this game is really going to be pausing the shit out of me, huh? So, there's that. There's that. Okay. I can't roll anymore like I used to. Give me a sec, guys. I'm trying to figure out the controls. Okay. Oh, wait! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wrong button. There's the... Yeah, there's the roll. So you can still do that. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, you can still do that. Okay, okay, okay. Alright, and then you can... Now you can jump now. This game feels very, like, uh, I want to say stiff. It's like something about the animation, the graphics overall feels like it's not, it's definitely, I would say it's a PS2 game, but like, no, did I say PS2? This definitely looks like a PS4 game, but holy shit, I just feel like something is up about the, yeah, the animation feels very stiff. That, that really doesn't feel like Gungrave, you know? Like, the animation was meant to be on point. Activate lock-on mode, mode, yada, yada, yada. Okay, during lock-on mode. Alright, <laughs> yep, yeah, this, this, this is Gungrave, alright? Well, I'm kidding. This doesn't feel like Gungrave. The way I remember it, all right, because the, now that because they shifted to the whole third person experience, like like an actual third person shooter, because it feels like that, I'm just like, uh, huh, you know, like it it, it feels very like a run of the mill third person shooter that like it, it is way even beneath like Bullet Storm or some shit like that that quality of gameplay, but. Look, too early to criticize. I'm just, like, honestly, just feeling how I'm feeling right now. I'm not a fan of the art. Javier says, I'm not a fan of the art style. It looks more generic now that it's more realistic. Yeah, see, that's what I'm getting at. Or, like, I was about to get it. I was about to mention that. Because it feels weird. Like, where's my fucking... You know, you guys remember when I was, like, if you, if you stay motion... If you don't move as you shoot, he'll do like this spinning, he'll spin around, he'll dance, he'll do like all these different animations to imply he's shooting that hard. But yeah, see what I'm talking about? Like, look how stiff it is now, like watch. <laughs> look how stiff this game is now, look. Yeah, that's what this game feels like. See, look, look at it, look, look, look. Like, damn, this is, a uh, pretty shit. 
I'm not gonna lie, this looks pretty shit. Again, I have not looked at anything about this game. I have not paid attention to this game at all when it came out. This is my first time really seeing it for what it is. And I'm telling you right now, this is my shit. Yeah, I know, I remember. They're trying to tell me some shit that I already know. Death Tornado. So, what I, yeah, so this is the deflection. Wow! Guys, look how stiff this is! Look how stiff this is! Look, 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 look! Look, this is the, this is the animation right now! This is the animation! You know, like I said, the animation's very stiff, and I'm just chilling here. Guys, I want you to clip this. I feel bad for this whole twink faggot. Look how fucking twinky he is. Got to the track and says that's the only game I played. I dropped it after the first mission. Holy shit! Yeah, this is bad. This is awful. I'm just looking at, like this guy. He's saying, I know I'm playing like a tutorial, maybe, so it's supposed to get harder. But holy shit, this looks bad. He didn't even get fucking just blam blast, dude. I am carrying like it has to be like I'm carrying like a a two ton coffin. You're telling me that this motherfucker just survived with, like a swing by that? Yeah, fuck you. Look, look, look. Too early. Let's, it's still too early to criticize this game. Let's give it some time and see what happens, okay, folks? But I will tell you right now, just this odd, this this amount of impact, like there is no impact to the attacks. The the shooting is stiff. The camera shakes a little bit, cause that's the thing is the camera barely shakes to where you feel like any of the moves have impact. The the animations are so stiff and just like too too just two piece, like if that if I if you get what I'm saying, it just looks bad. Javier says I got like a Saints Row NPC. Abby Strong says I play only play like the first level only, and that's all. Well, I'm starting to see why you guys only play the first level. Bro, he's not even doing like his infamous fucking combo. You know what I mean? Like he would he would fucking thrash it like whoa 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 whoa. whoa. He would he. Like, he was, like, having a tantrum. Like, he was swinging the coffin around like he had a tantrum. That shit was funny. This looks bad. Yeah, Fallen Angel says, it's like when you sleep on your arm. Javier says, maybe this game is good, but it just has horrible first introduction, hopefully. Maybe, but one thing that we can't, like, but that we can't, uh, we can't, like, forgive right now. As of right now... I'll let everything else slide, but what I won't slide so far is how awful the animations look. If you wanted to survive an old school gun grave, you had to do this so many times. That's how you have to play the game. I'm dead serious, though. But, like, that's only when the game gets harder. Let's see how stiff I am when I do this. Watch. Oh, I mean, at least he... At least he fucking, like, flinched when he attacked... When he got hit by that, that explosion. We're going to carry out all the COVID vials. 
I'm kidding. I'm kidding, guys. Fallen Engine says it looks like uh, if the speedrunner anime dub was turned into imaginary. Imaginary what? I mean, I kind of get what you're saying, but yeah, this game, it really does have like... Oh, wait, we're getting more. We're getting more attacks. Okay, so maybe this game is just kind of limiting me on what I can do right now just to help me break in if slowly into this game. Okay, so there is more animations. I thought it was just this. I mean, it still looks bad. This still, the animation still looks bad, but at least you, you know, aren't just giving me like a fucking like one melee hit looking, you know, animation that I'm just stuck with for the rest of the game. Maybe you might have to unlock some attacks and stuff to like, you know, really feel like this game stands out more. Oh, they're doing, they're doing the fucking uh, Doom. They're doing the Doom uh finisher. Wow, that's pretty funny. So they actually are now introducing... <laughs> Get off me, bitch! <laughs> okay, okay. Well, I mean, that's it. He ain't doing nothing else so far. I'm not trying to be too quick on judging, but this game still looks uh not the best right now. Yeah, 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 glory kills. That's what the all they did was just copy glory kills from uh from Doom. Holy shit, bro! This motherfucker just shot this, this dude's arm and leg off. That is funny. But anyway, look. Yeah, you already used that line before. I'm, so, I'm trying to feel for this game right now, guys, so sorry if I don't have any talking points right now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Great, the doors. OG finger lick. Oh, wait, hold on. We got Vince. Vince. Welcome back to the junkyard. I, I just not noticed you. What up, my neba? Just say nigga, dude. I got you on live chat so I can see all the things you, you people say. Don't worry. You can say whatever you want. Maybe just nothing too outrageous to where I can't see it. But the chat is currently live. As in, the setting is live. Say faggot, nigger, all you want. I'll see it. Uh, maybe it went full DMC. Maybe. Maybe this game did go full DMC, and not the good Devil May Cry, but like the emo Devil May Cry looking thing. Um, Vitz says, a thing that was in God of War LMAO. I mean, yeah, but like, the thing is, that specifically was uh, Doom's glory kill, where like, you just mash a single button and then just boom. When I say nigga, it doesn't appear. What are you talking about? I see it right now. There you go. There's the answer. Say nigga all you want. I told you. You guys don't know what I'm saying. I run this shit. And I make sure that YouTube gives me my fucking... You know, gives me the fucking decency to see all the chat. Even if it's offensive. Alright? I can see you say whatever you want. See you... See, Turn your shit to... Yeah, now it's appearing, you dumb nigger. Alright, anyway. Um, OG Finger Licker, when was this game? This game was 2022. 
Abby Strong says motherfucker fell apart like he was from a Lego game. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. How did you? How did Yoda master Yoda die? Last time I tried it didn't work. Yeah, because I didn't set the uh, chat to live. So there's top chat and there's live chat. Live chat you can see everything. Top chat only shows you like YouTube's recommended like top comment. So if you ever do get into streaming, guys, always remember to turn to live chat so you can hear see all the people talking mad shit about you that YouTube doesn't want you to know because your feelings, I guess, don't need to be hurt. It's pretty stupid. Um. Oh shit! I could go full auto. Swinging at this dude for a way. Like, where are the hitboxes on my shit? I should be hitting everybody right now at once. Yeah, there we go. Fuck, that's stupid. Um, so. What was I gonna say? Oh, yeah, this music is fucking awful, by the way. Maybe this is a tutorial, so that's why I'm like. It's too early to say, like, what's going on just yet. Go. Full for fuller audio. Full fuller for fuller auto. Vince says good to see you having fun. Wait, are you saying you're like leaving or something, Vince? What the fuck? You ain't gonna watch me play this sorry ass game? You don't wanna hear me? You don't wanna listen to me talk shit. I'm trying to wait, what the fuck? Why do the Why do the in-game cutscenes look so good and then you go back to the gameplay and it looks like this? Like what the fuck is this? This melee is so awful in this game. It's not hitting, it's not like an area of effect move that can, you can use to help your ass with like, you know, being surrounded if you're directionally like trying to hit someone. But you're really telling me that I only have like a very narrow like hitbox in front of me that I have to like pinpoint the enemy with. Cause if you don't move, that's what happens. But the way this guy is moving I want to be. I want to believe that anyone, like three people, will get knocked out by that. But when I, you saw me attacking, right? I was doing this shit, and the fucking characters in front of me, only one got hit. If he wanted to be hit, oh, uh, he ain't gonna stay for long. You gotta check in, okay, bitch. Uh, all right. So full auto. There's this, and then you have this. <sighs> Wait, how do you do the charge? Okay, there, yeah, he's doing the charge. Wait, what was that? Okay, okay, so there is more to it. I also heard that this, that this game, I did hear how this game, like, apparently locks away some of your moves until you keep playing, and then you start to look cool. But I'm dead serious though. I'm not really turned on by this game's animation so far. The the, uh, the music, um, how stiff everything looks, and how the cutscenes are so like incredibly different from the gameplay itself. Uh, it's pretty annoying. Death hook. You can now use death hook to grab enemies. Oh wow. <sighs> I can death hook people. Grab a grabbed enemy can be used as a shield. Oh shit! Like Gears of War! Like Gears of War! Yeah, 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 yeah! Chase a target and charge into a group of enemies. Hold RB. Wait, hold on. Let me let me try some. Yeah, he's meat shield. Look at him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at him. 
That's funny. Look, look at this. Look how sorry this game looks. <laughs> Which right now, like, if I, if when he's lighted, hold on, I'm doing it wrong, I'm pressing the wrong button. Yeah, I pressed the wrong button, so. Wait, how do I throw him again? <laughs> this is so fucking awful looking. But that is a pretty cool, like, feature, I guess. Yeah, 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 get over here! Come here! Like, listen to the audio, guys. L just listen. I know my, my desktop ain't working, but just hear it. There is, like, no sound of, like, the, like, the, 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 the grappling hook coming out, like, boom! Right? It's just only the sound of it, like, extending on its own. Give me a sec, guys. I'm trying to see if I can do, like, a, a, a finishing blow. Whatever you call it. While I have, like, this guy in my hands. Give me a sec. Yeah, this is so bad looking. Like, the way the game feels, I will admit, it doesn't feel bad at all. The whole third person thing still works out and it doesn't feel like a tank control game anymore. It still works. Um You just got to you got to sell the game's animation better, man. That makes a huge difference because they just got to play fucking Gungrave Gungrave Overdose and like all the enemies in the game, like the way they animated it to look anime or something, or just you know, cell shaded, it, it looked good. Now whatever this is, this is just bad. He can fire death hook at stun enemies and execute them with RIP. Oh, really? <sighs> Hold against stun enemy. RB against stun enemy. They cannot be great. Okay, all right. <laughs> yeah, this looks so bad, guys. I did the thing. You couldn't see it too well because. This game's is just it, ugh, cinematically displeasing. Hey, who's behind me? Get off me, nigga! What the fuck? Who the fuck was that? Who was that? Uh, Abby Strong says, "Hold up, the gas canister explosion is an explosive explosion dot gif." Yes, it's an explosion. Dot gif. You better not be picky with how this game looks. That's my job. <laughs> gun grave, more like gun gave. Am I right? You're getting timed out for ten seconds for that, uh, Vitz. You fucking faggot. Get the fuck out of the junkyard for ten seconds and think about what you said, because we don't do that kind of dumb shit right here. You get timed out. Yeah, that's right. OG finger licker, you said it best. You absolutely could have said it any better. I wish I noticed your comment earlier. <laughs> this does look like a Deadpool game. Thank you so much for saying that. This game right now looks like a fucking Deadpool game. It's pretty damn bad. Looking. Gameplay wise, it feels good. So far. But, like, this whole. Like, this game just looking stiff and just. Yeah, this looks, this looks really bad. What gun grave is this? Bowser Jr. Fan 13, welcome back to the junkyard! This here is gun grave gore. And this is the last and recent, like, Gun Grave game you'll see. Ouch. Anyway, yeah, see, look, it looks like an explosion.gif. Yeah, you're right there, uh, 
Abby Strong. This looks pretty bad. I wonder. Red Entertainment still made this, right? Nah, I can see it. I can still see what you said. Here, hold on. View delete message. View delete message. View delete message. View delete. Yeah, you see, it's all there still. Maybe I have to like go man go back and manually like uh turn this shit back on. But I'm not gonna go that far back. Yeah, I'm not gonna go that far back. <sighs> <sighs> But anyway, yeah, so this, like I said before, the game feels great, but it just looks awful. Hey, hold on, let me see if I can shoot this guy. Let me see if I can shoot him. I can't shoot him. Get out of here, you fucking nigga! That, by the way, that whole grappling, people who are stunned to do a, a, a RRP kill, glory kill, basically. Dude, what the fuck was that that I did? Like, why does it look so bad? Demolition shot. Oh, shit. So if we finally get to do what we that, that, that this game is known for, is using your coughing gun. Here we go, folks. Are you ready? Are you ready to see? What it looks like. Wait, what the fuck was that? Wait, what? What was that? God, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What was that? <sighs> Oh my god, he's so much too. Maybe this game, like, subconsciously makes you yawn if it sucks. I don't know. Yeah, that looks bad. He didn't even use his coffin to, like, shoot. What the fuck was that, guys? What? That looks awful. Oh yeah, I gotta do my charge shot. Hold on. Okay, what the fuck? Where's my charge shot? Okay, that look. Okay, that looked a bit cooler. That looked a bit cooler. But what the fuck is this super? What is this super? Hold right, on, let me look at it. I don't. I ain't got no enemies to look at, but who cares? Let's look at it one more time, guys. Here we go. That looks bad. Yeah, see, look, that sucks. Ha <laughs> ha. I also don't get it. Me neither, man. I'm trying not to, like, purposely, like, hate this game because it's, like, new. This looks actually bad. This looks awful. Oh! 
we are doing it. This looks bad, guys. I'm sorry. I can't do this. Controls. Oh, wait. So you do get to do the fucking burst mode. Okay, so they brought it back. They did bring it back. They did bring it back. So the thing I was talking about, if you look at the camera uh, of the tutorial thing. Yeah, if you remember me and Finger Lick laughing at it because that was funny looking. He does that. Abby Sean says, well, that's one super. Can't be all that bad, right? Yeah. I need to hurry up and play this game and see what I'm, how I'm feeling right now. Okay, yeah, see, he's doing it. He's doing it. He's doing it. Yeah, he's doing it. He's doing it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's doing it. He's doing it. He's doing it. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Can he do it while auto? Okay, so you can still... You can still do that. I love doing that. I'm not gonna lie. In the uh, older uh, Gungrave games, that is pretty funny to do. So I like doing this, and I like doing this. All right, yeah, yeah, it's pretty good. <laughs> Trying to do my super. Oh, wait, I gotta go like this. Like, it looks so fucking, like, anticlimactic the moment you hear chuckling. <laughs> like, it's Gungrave. What's laughing about? What What's to laugh about if you're Gungrave? You're, like, pissed off you, that you're dead and betrayed and necrotized to be this zombified, like, for, you know, zombie, like, dude with a coffin for a giant, you know. You, you, there's nothing to laugh about, so... Why is your gun laughing for you? And why do you, like, use your coffin to, like, summon this giant, big old, I guess, bullet that has a skull on it and it's just like, <laughs> Wait, what is this? Like, me watching Courage the Cowardly Dog type of shit? <laughs> yeah, that's pretty bad. But, I, like I said, I know I'm talking quite a bit of shit for this game, but right now... I am still going to try to play it, play it, and uh, once I start to get to the rhythm, I'll try to, like, see if I can detract myself from the game and talk about shit, talk about some talking points, and then, like, you know, whenever the game does pick up, I'll, like, acknowledge that first uh, and see if it's worth it, you know what I mean? So, like, too early, I guess, to just shit shit all over this game. There is still, you know, maybe some something about it that's worth it, you know? But yeah, no, seriously though, it's like animation is just awful. Like the gun sound side sounds bad. Like the gun sound is horrible. It just sounds like very typical. I I could have sworn I've heard the sound of those pistols before from like a whole another different game that like just needed pistol sound effects, like stock pistol sound effects that maybe most games use that you don't notice. Boss Theory says, why would a dead reanimated man who doesn't speak feel the need to spin and jump like that while firing two pistols? And why do people keep pretending anyone will logically entire enter a battle with two guns? Dual pistols, I mean. More guns the merrier, boss. I see what you're saying because, like, at, like you, you got two guns... There's two separate, like, pieces of firearm that you gotta be able to, like, aim with. And it makes it a lot more impractical to try to use two guns. Unless you actually know how to aim that good. Like, fucking, what's his face? Like, uh, Max Payne or some shit. But also, that we're talking about a guy that will also dive towards anything to act like he's saving his ass doing that shit. If you try doing that shit in real life, I promise you, you are going to die thinking that. Diving makes you a harder target to hit. Especially if you're not proficient at moving fast enough to, uh, uh, so, I guess, sol uh, uh, solicit. Is that the word? Solicit? Or just have a dive just ready for you to do. Yeah, no. You, you, you ain't gonna do that. But, like, Max Payne has always been kind of a goofy-ass, you know, type of character to play as with dual pistols. But somehow he made it work better than this guy right here because this sequel of Gungrave questionably like looks bad. All right, let's keep playing, guys. Great, watch out for I mean, I 
I hear what you're saying also about him jumping around and shit. But fuck it. I mean, that's always been a thing. Hell, real question. Uh, whenever you notice me and Finger Licker or whoever do the, they were taunts in the game, uh, Gungrave, where he will turn it, he will turn around and he will do like a pose. Like, why would Gungrave do a pose? Why would Gungrave t- turn around and do a pose? Like, you see what I'm getting at? I get what you're saying. It's just that I feel like that the, uh, aesthetic of the game is meant to still kind of like show you an alternate like like i guess there are features i think in the game that are alternative to the canon the canon or the lore of the character like it's just there just as like the developers just giving you something to like look at and laugh at you know what i'm saying that's why i think that when you do the taunt and uh, Gungrave overdose and shit, and there's like an explosion behind him for no reason. It looks so stupid, and it's just like you know, fuck it, like that's that's there, you know. Uh, and I'll I like it. So I kind of tied that with him jumping around the way he does when he does his his uh, burst mode. This right here, cause yeah, it doesn't seem like he would do that, right? But at the same time. I just feel like it's just like if you wanted to like style or flare out with the guy, it wouldn't fit him. I know, but it's just the motherfucker. He he now has the ability to do that. I guess. Fuck it, let him have it. Go for it. And by the way, this game doesn't have a taunt, so I'm upset. Boss theory says, "Oh, firing two pistols isn't the retarding the retarded part." Reloading them is. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you're right. I guess if you just so happen to have two pistols, it's like only for that moment. You use them, and then when you run out, that's it. Uh, this character, as you describe him, should physically carry himself like a Punisher, not Teenage Dante. Now, here's the thing. He's always done that, though, in like all the, 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 the gun graves. He's always done this. He's always done that. That's just like part of what, like him. His is... That is part of his aesthetic. I get what you're trying to say, but that's always been there. Like it did, this didn't, this did not happen for, just for this game in particular. But does it fit him still? Not really. But it grows on you. Is what I'm saying. It grows on you. Yeah, it grows on you when it happens. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I don't really mind it necessarily. Me per se. You know what I'm saying? I don't mind it. Doesn't make your point any less valid, boss. I get what you're saying, and it is pretty goofy. Yeah, I'm playing like old school gun grave now. Get my super bitch. Now that's what bothers me is the whole just laughing bullet bullshit. Like, what kind of super is this? Why is this a thing? This looks so comically like this doesn't fit the realm of like Gungrave. Even though Gungrave looks realistic right now, that bullet right there looks so stupid. The way it forms. Whoa! They just fucking spawned inside the fucking conics box. That's funny. Hey, Gungrave. Hey, Gungrave Gore Devs. Hey, Gungrave Gore Devs. Your 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 development is showing. <laughs> your your pop ups are showing now, Gungrave Gore Devs. Oh, you got a you got a you got a grave on you, all right. See, that's what he's talking about. You could do the grave shaker, huh? The gun grave shaker. Give me the gun grave shaker, dude. Shake your ass. Shake your grave. Take your hands off that coffin and shake that shit. I know you can shake it, shake it. Yeah, that's some thug ass right there. You got the coffin, dude. Yeah, that'll work for him. Put that coffin on. You ready to sit on that shit? <laughs> <laughs> mm. 
Boss Lee says, I'm not mad you enjoy the styling he does, but from what I'm hearing, it's impossible to defend, and it's more about just going with it. Yeah, I know. Like, I get what you're trying to say. I really am. I'm just saying that, yeah, maybe you are trying to add that. It, it never worked even from the beginning. But I've always seen him do that shit, and I'm just, like, used to seeing it. Uh, him spinning around, doing all that dumb shit. Uh, Finger Licker says, I bet since Mika has seed in her, her bullets go, Ooh! You're getting timed out for that, uh, Finger Licker. I can't believe I have to do that to you, man. But that was the faggoty shit you made me say. Like they're trying to give you music to make up for all those, you know, I guess, whatever it is, but it just feels too modern. It doesn't feel like it has that gun grade feel to it. Like, it was kind of like jazzy. This isn't jazzy. Whoa, we got a cutscene that looks a lot better than the in-game uh, animations for some fucking reason. Like, this is how the game should look. This is how the game should look. It ain't too late for me, for me to uh, uh, gun, gun grave all over you, give you the gun grave shaker. But, anyway. Oh no, we got a boss fight, and the way he appeared was very anticlimactic. Oh no! He's on me! He's. He's looking all over me. He's doing things all over me. I'm sorry, man. I hate, I hate that super so fucking much. That super looks so fucking bad. All you had to do, all you had to do, was literally make the guy be able to fucking like put that coffin over his shoulder, like a like a rocket mounted, like a RPG shoulder mounted uh, weapon, and just shoot. What the fuck is this? <laughs> Roundhouse kicked the bullet. I'm not gonna lie, if, if, if the last game felt that hard to play, the last two games, it should still feel quite frustrating to play in a sense that, like this right here, at some point, if I do keep playing this game, it should be like, oh man, I was careless and that's why I lost. Not, oh, I was careless and I still won that boss fight. Like, no. I don't ever want to witness that about a game. Yeah, I got him. Okay, that was fast. And that's another thing this game does. I hate when, like, you do something and the game blacks out for, like, three seconds and then brings you back into the moment and a whole different and a whole different quality of what the game is offering cutscene-wise. I hate that shit. I really fucking do. Alright? Um, I'm, like, killing that thing and within, like... I'm listening to the song right quick. That's why I'm like shutting up. Okay, yeah, the music. Okay, I take it's not bad. I, it, ain't, it ain't bad. But they they really lost their touch with how like Gungrave used to be. You just just make me just you could have gave me back my fucking you know my 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 fucking.
You know what I mean? Like, they try to remake it, and it just, you know, not that song in particular, but they try to make a song too to outshine its predecessor, and its predecessor sounds so much better to listen to at the end of a result screen. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, it's actually good. It is, it's not bad. It really isn't bad. And I guess because they just got through playing the, the Gungrave game, um, Overdose and the first one, like, they had good music. And I'm not saying it's horrible, but, like, in comparison, it's still, it's just like Guilty Gear Strive. Oh, yeah, I forgot. <laughs> so, like, Guilty Gear Strive isn't still, like, like the like the music it still isn't bad in that game, except Batman's Maze, Bridget's, and shit, right? Um, the music is good, but in comparison to the overall Guilty Gear, like, um, um, out, like, just music, tra musical track, like, all the tracks, all throughout Guilty Gear history, just completely drown out, you know, Daisuke's efforts to, to sound progressive, and sound like he needs to make music sound like more than just metal, but that's the whole point. It's a metal fucking anime fighter. And the metal of the game, it, it rocks. Okay? <clears throat> so that's what I'm getting at. This game right here tried to do something to try to, like, revamp Gungrave. And it didn't work. But on its own, the music on its own is still good. But I'm trying to be like, you look, I am kind of thinking... Are you gonna give me something just just about as good as your last game uh, song, Gunlock Overdrive, or are you gonna give me something that's shittier than Gunlock Overdrive, or are you gonna give me something uh, uh, or, or better? Well, it gave me only just something that's like below average Gunlock Overdrive, but hey, it's good. It is. I, I like how they're trying to do something, you know, but it just doesn't fit the 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 it just doesn't fit the aesthetic. Abby Strong says the moment John Gungray speaks before the ending cutscene. That's a minus one of the scone immediately. <laughs> uh, Javia says it's just a DMC result screen. No, DMC result screens have always been a thing uh, in, in Gun Gray. But yeah, it does look like a Devil May Cry game now because they don't use skulls anymore to rate you. Thanks for timing OG Finger Licker out, Boss Theory says. Um, I, was, I, I was keep trying to type comments and he won't stop sucking my fingers. All right, man. I'm glad that we 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 snuffed him out. I mean, I hope he learned his lesson. They'd be ashamed to lose him. But if he's fucking around saying gay shit like that again, in the fucking grind meat grinder, in the motherfucking meat grinder. Hey, when's you to be XRF3? Is he gonna say it? Is he gonna say it? Oh, come on! See, look, that's what I'm talking about! See, the whole quality of the game is shit now! They don't even, they don't even say... Gungrave. You know, like, Gungrave. Gore. They don't even do that anymore! Come on, man. What the fuck is this game now? Okay, let's, let's, let's do it. <laughs> okay. Um... Yeah, no, the song is, is actually pretty good, boss. Um, just not gun grave good. <sighs> she really needs dancing lessons. Oh! Boss and LR. Why the. Who the fuck gave this. They could have given her a name that is much more sensible. It must mean something in like a different language, but I don't speak another language, so this looks bad to me. Boss and the canine uh, cartel team are working on their first objective in Scumland. Grave has taken another route to distract the Raven Clan and quickly infiltrate into inner Scumland. He needs to move swiftly to No Man's Gate, where the refinery is believed to be located. I'm sure it wouldn't be much of a problem for a guy like Grave. All right. Gun Grave. Go. They still won't say it.
I want to fight in the supermarket again like in the last game. Damn! You gotta go through all that! Sorry guys, this looks bad. It looks campy, like they're trying to be serious, but you're telling me like when you try to be serious looking with the graphics, like your graphics, like the animation, the key working, the key framing looks worse than any PS2 game before. Like how the fuck do you pull that how you pull that off? You make a game look all of a sudden realistic, too realistic almost, and then like it just it looks bad. <laughs> Consider playing Unreal Tournament one day. I'm going to consider playing Unreal Tournament 2 on the Xbox one day. That was the best Unreal Tournament game I've ever played. I think it was like Champion something. It was like a third-person shooter, and you can like use melee weapons. Um, Abby Strong says, that's that. well, that's all I play. Rest is unknown waters for me. Well, we're figuring it out now! Another feature? All right, let's get it. Oh, come on. That looks so bad. Guys, it looks so fucking bad. And this game keeps fucking freezing just because it's trying to show me something. Just stop. Like, just show me. Like, God damn it! Like, the this looks so ugly. Oh no, there are more coming. Oh no, what, what, what? Am I supposed to be scared? Ha <laughs> ha! Look at him trying to kill my ass. He can't even touch me. He can't even touch me because he's slow. He's fat. He's out of shape because he's a fucking Negro. You need good ass games to play. I meant the PC, the PC frames per second. I kind of want to see Finger versus Mud Bum throw down, throw down in a retro game stream. And Budokai Tenkaichi 3! Oh! I could go for it. Alright, go away, sir. He's go away. Alright, there you go. <clears throat> Quite the, quite the. Are you tell? You finally teach me how to jump? That's the dumbest. This, this is so stupid. This is so fucking stupid. Ah! Great. Storm barrage is a skill that damages enemies by rapid firing bolts in all direction. Storm barrage can be used when the B count hits fifty. When shield gauge is full, players can attack without being interrupted by enemies. I mean, this is kind of fucking broken, I'm not gonna lie. That's kind of funny, though. Because he's just, like, I'm just sitting there doing this. And, like, I'm not losing anything unless... Yeah, I'm not losing anything. I'm not losing anything at all. I can just keep doing this. Oh, never mind. Oh, no, I can keep going. I can keep going. Oh, wait. I'm about to actually die. Holy shit. Here, I need you to save my ass while I charge up. Oh no, I'm about to actually fucking die! No fucking way! I can't believe I'm actually about to die in like level 2 of like a tutorial like game. I wasn't paying attention and I guess that's the downside is 
Maybe you're too vulnerable and like you just get shot for what you're doing. Smoking sexy style. Um, I do have a Dragon Ball game somewhere in my stash, but like I don't have Tenkaichi 3. I think I don't have that game at all. <clears throat> that game is just as probably hard to find like any other popular game on PS2. It's Dragon Ball, you know? Hey guys, I'm gonna kill you. Oh no! I can't believe I actually died. Yeah, it's gonna be hard. Wait, did I accidentally like swap the? I what happened? Why is the game already saying that the game is hard? Maybe I did turn on hard mode. I don't know when. I don't know where. But, holy shit. I can't believe I just died. I felt pretty pissed off. Whoa, well, Fangor like it says he's got Budokai Ken Tenkaichi 2. Hmm. Now I'm curious to know. I'm curious to know. Oh, no! I'm curious to know when we overdo it in the future. I have some projects in the future I haven't started yet, but I am I I will love to get started on at some point. Because it's gonna be a whole arc. It's gonna be a whole arc. I wanna say maybe during summer I would like to do with my streams. I don't wanna tell you what it is, but I, I, I gotta start like honestly, like maybe working on some of the like the promos. Or some of the stuff that you get to see, right? Because I am doing something with Finger Licker. Hell, I might do something with Boss Theory in the future. It's only a matter of coordination and just me getting started on it. So don't worry, guys. It, it will happen. Whatever that thing may be. Look how bad this fire looks. Oh, they melee! Look how melee they look. They, they look trying to trying to do their thing. By the way, I just did the charge shot, and it's still nothing charge-wise came out. So, this game is kind of busted on, like, Hey, I'm doing a charge shot. Are you going to, like, you know, give me credit? Like, I just did a charge shot, and I didn't get anything out of that. Oh shit! Oh, I forgot I can do this. Look at this faggot. That's what you fucking get. I mean, again, like, this game feels alright. It doesn't feel, like, horrible. It's just the animation and, like, the overall, like, presentation and audio of this game looks pretty bad. Like, I, will, I would say, I would say keep the graphics of this game. But just sell a lot harder on like the impact, the oomph behind attacks, and like the gun sounds need to sound better. 
the people who we're fighting against need to sound like they need to look more like a certain kind of enemy like that can stand out for me to remember these just look like just people that I'm shooting at like just random assets from like steam valve or some shit and they're not even making like anything significant when they die they're like you know just die but I want to hear be oh oh yeah like you know there's a way that the game back then sold you on everything trying to be a way it is like the aesthetic the theme of Gungrave Gungrave it's it's gone it just feels like I'm playing like a husk of a game that has a sequel finally and like the husk is trying to be like its former self but it just don't work By the way, that right there is kind of pointless to do. It's suicide. It looks it looks cool. I said it was broken. I was wrong. Bro, I was so fucking wrong, guys. You do not listen to me. I genuinely look, uh, was like thinking it looks cool, and uh, that's why I was going to get away with what I did. No, I did not, and that's why I died finally in this game on normal difficulty, I think. Pretty insulting, right? I mean, they do say, like, ah, fucker, and that's it. What are you going to do, kill your friend? He did. He ain't got no heart. He ain't got no heart. That was your best friend. You just had lunch with him this morning. Now look at you. You're dead as fuck. This looks so fucking. I hate. I hate seeing that move so fucking bad. I hate seeing that move so fucking bad. It looks so awful. Who? Who's like artistic creation of that? What? Who was it that said that looks cool and allowed it to be greenlit? Who came up with it and it got away with it? Who? Who made that? Because I want to find them and fucking just pummel their face in so bad. These people don't know what the fuck they're doing making this game. At least that. Like, I'm now itching to, like, unlock a brand new move. So I don't have to look at that anymore. Man, this fucking dude. Alright, there you go. I'm about to start doing this from now on. Like, the way they explode, too, it looks so bad. Alright, I'm just gonna start doing this from now on, guys. I'm just gonna grab people and throw. Grab people and throw. Grab people. Now you're gonna talk to me. When's Guilty Gear XR Rev 3? I, 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 I don't know. When's Guilty Gear XR Rev 3? I, 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 I don't know what you're talking about. Ah, I'm just here to kill you, Grave. You fucking nigger. Listen to me, and you listen to me good. If you don't give me fucking Guilty Gear XR Rev 3 right now, I'm gonna go over to fucking Art System Works Studio, and I'm gonna go and find that fucking blockheaded bitch, and I'm gonna fucking wreck his neck out. After I split your asshole in half, drag it through the sand, send you to fucking Somalia, and watch it get sodomized by a bunch of fucking go fuckers, you fucking nigger. Ah! Damn, I didn't know, uh, uh, Gungrave. I didn't know Brandon Heat likes gu uh, Guilty or Exar Rev 3. He likes it a lot more than me that he would kill people for it. Damn, I wouldn't do that, but... Hey, he's got a lot more passion than I do. Uh... Well, hell, let him have uh, Rev uh, Exar Rev 3. Bro, every time I charge, it just doesn't work! 
It just doesn't work. She said that twice already. I actually remember her saying that the first time. <laughs> oh shit! It's that song that's good, but not as good as, you know, the other song. Any other siblings? No, but there's oh. ten brothers oh. and sisters. Uh huh. You're the youngest, aren't you? Yeah. Well, how did you know that? <laughs> That song. Anyway, you may now upgrade your skills and ability in a laboratory. And it loops. That's bad. Wow. Uh, welcome to the lab. There's no actual lab like in the first game, but there is a lab. Check how much DNA you accumulated. This is the menu where you can select. Anyway, look. I know what to do. Alright. Oh, wow. This actually... Oh, that was cool. Hey, look. So, this is the thing I was talking about. So, this game starts you out pretty weak. But, like, there's a lot more to it than what you see. Yeah, it's, that looked cool, actually. Demolition shot. I want something else, man. Ah, oh, I can't even unlock anything else. That's bullshit. Yeah, that sucks. I can't, I can't actually, like, find a better fucking... <laughs> oh, he's he's actually gonna swap out weapons for once. That's crazy. Ah, uh, OG Finger Licker says it feels like Shadow of the Hedgehog game, but two generations late. Yeah, just about. Uh, OG Finger Licker says I heard the ending is that John Gungrave dies and moves on to the afterlife of Fog between lands. John Elder Gun. It's just DMC. Yeah, it is. It is. This is Devil May Cry in abbreviations. Oh, wait. I found him. I found him. Ah, I found some better ass looking ones. Let's see what this looks like. That looks cool. Hey! that. See, there you go. That's what I'm talking about. All right? That's what I'm talking about because you... Genuinely, like, need to give me something else to look at instead of that stupid ass um, demolition shot we got right now. Which, if I want to be more practical, I would want to use this one. But at the same time, this one looks better. And then I want to go for. Damn. These are actually pretty good uh, looking attacks. Yeah, these are actually good looking attacks. Uh, I want that because... I don't know. Like, If you can understand me as a person, you will understand why I unlock that. <laughs> Alright, we got a better fucking... Uh, uh, we got a better as a uh, demolition shot to use, so I don't have to look at that sorry as uh, abomination anymore that they gave me, like, starting off. That super just screams the Metal Slug announcers, Heavy Machine Gun. Yeah, you see? There you go. You're starting to get what I'm saying. Heavy Machine Gun. My favorite one is Shotgun. <laughs> Enemy Chaser. Yeah, those are my favorite ones. Oh, yeah, wait, wait, wait. Uh oh, big. Fallen Angel says, sounds wicked. Abby Strong says, friends wanted me to play a bit of Fighter Z today. Why not? I basically got it for free. Pretty sure we spent 90% of the time in the lobby doing impressions and, and voice chat them playing. <laughs> uh, I love when you play a game and you don't play it for what it is, you just do other shit, but you you have the game for it as the format to do that. Oh, wait, I didn't read the fucking thing. Eh, whatever. Yeah, 
You know, here's another thing that's bothering me about this game. Well, another thing that's bothering me about this game. By the way, they've been using the same track, the same song. I think the same two songs, like, for all the stages so far. Um, that sucks. But anyway, what's been bothering me is they didn't even introduce me to, like, the fucking blonde shape that they're talking about. Because, like, yeah, I hear talking and shit, but, like, I don't see her talk. I don't see her animations. I don't see her, like, by whole, I don't, I don't know what she looks like. It's just some girl that we saved, supposedly, but, like, the game starts us off with, like, these still shot looking comic book looking cutscenes. That, that's another thing that made me mad, was that you started me off, like, the other, the opposite way around. The main cinematic, the way it should look, was when you saw Gungrave, like, home in on those goons. Like, from, like, he was like a meteorite with a coffin. And then he came in, and, like, snapped that dude's neck, like, by, by turning him his head all the way around. And then you saw Mika, and, you know, her fat ass. So, anyway, like... What I'm saying is, is that why did they animate that cutscene to be like secondary to the main debut intro, uh, uh, like to this game? Like they haven't asked backwards. Like everything else should be like if you wanted to add padding or fillers to kind of like save time, then add in like those still shot cutscenes of like PNG images trying to like show me shit. Um. But yeah, like the main cutscene felt like was when I started playing like the game, like the first mission. And then she's like, here, go in that fucking, you know, go in that facility and take out whoever, the seed. So th that's just one thing that bothered me so far about this game. Is they don't even have a good understanding of how to like... You don't have an understanding of like how to like make their game, I guess, sell its graphics, sell its production. Like you should have the movie first, then the cinematic looking shit second. Oh, I like doing that. Yeah, I like doing that. I already like doing that. Watch, watch, watch. It's not fast, but it's just enough to say. It's just enough to still say that that right there was the quite the investment to get. Well, they got a whole room in here and you can't even do anything with it. See, like, it's like wasted assets like this. What is the point of this trailer? Why is it so fucking 144p looking? Why does this game look bad? But it's alright. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't see anything to pick up. Nothing. Just shoot. I have strong says, so far, this this just looks like one of those jank games. You know, not even a double-A game. Just with a, with, a major, with major problems. But enjoyable with a cult following. Yeah, so I can't be too mad about this game. But I am still mad that, like, you know... If they wanted to make this game look like it's supposed to be better than Gungrave Overdose or Go you know, Gungrave, um, it, they ain't doing it right now. It's just only the only people that will play this game are those who have played the Gungrave series before or have seen the anime. But this game ain't doing nothing else. Yeah, this game is doing nothing else, man. I, I don't know what to tell you. Heavy machine gun. He's still laughing? Oh, so I can't move around when I do that. By the way, yeah, for those that don't know, I can't move around when I do that attack. So, like, I have to sit there and fucking... I have to move around, uh... No, I can't move around when I do that. All I can do is just aim. That was funny.
And like this game's gonna be all like mature and shit out of nowhere. Like what the fuck? Like oh, you said the word fuck. Wow, an f bomb. But like, I just don't feel like it's needed. It's just kind of gratuitous. You're just trying to act adult just to be cool, but it's just cringe. What the fuck? Oh, he's invisible. Faggot. I want you. 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 All right, fuck you. Stupid ass game. Anyway. Oh no! What the fuck? For the fucker. Heavy machine gun. It was worth it. That was a worth. That's an investment worth it. I promise you. I actually enjoy doing that better than I do the <laughs> kick a fucking round that like spawns in like a cartoon object, like from Acme or some shit. What's round three? All right, anyway, let's get over there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Woo! Get over here. Get over here. I want you. Hey, get over there. Yeah! Get thrown at something. Yeah, watch someone throw, uh, throw their body at him like this. And they explode. <laughs> How are you still alive? How are you still alive? Can you t please tell me? How are you still alive? The only reason why I'm still alive is because of the seed in me. You see, the seed provides me the strength and the durability to survive the likes of you, you fucking freak. I want you to take my infinite rounds into your fucking crotch. Yeah, you like inside your cock, don't you, you fucking whore. You're a whore, your mother's a whore, your father's a bitch. Your mother's a bitch, your mother's and father's a whore. And I want you to know something else. You're a fucking nigger like me. And I'm a fucking... <laughs> Shut up. No, you're yet. Man, look at all these Negroes. Look at all these faggots. Heavy machine gun. I want one that looks like a shotgun. I will say shotgun. I will say shotgun unironically. You niggas! Get rid of that laugh track, please. Yeah! Oh, there's still a guy here. I want to do my charge shot. I want to see if I can land it one more time. Oh my god. Dude, god. All right, that's the third time I did it, and I don't care anymore. I'm never doing it again. I promise you I'm never doing it again. That is such a waste of time. I'm holding down the shot button, and it just keeps coming out like normal shots. Like I didn't fully charge it or something. It, this game is busted. It is busted. Oh, I'm about to die again! Oh! Oh! Give me a sec. Okay. Yeah, I was about to die again. That's crazy, man. That's crazy. I'm about to die again. This game ain't that hard. I can't believe I'm about to die again, man. That's crazy. Hi. Oh, wait. Uh, so, uh, OG Mudbum's Art of Trade. What? My, my, my improv? It's not the best. Uh, <laughs> High Definition John Gungrave looks like a mix between Alex Mercer and My Name is Not Important. 
I don't know who my name is not important is, but yes, it does look like Alex Mercer. Alex Mercer from uh, Prototype. Which well, that's a good game, by the way, guys. You play uh, Prototype. If you want to play a game that feels fun, just destroying shit and like open world sandbox, you're like a superhuman type of thing that just blowing up worlds and shit and having unlocking more moves to feel badass and like just have different variations, picking up whatever you want and using it as a weapon type of shit. Play Prototype, guys. It's such a fun game. I think the first game is better than the second game, Prototype 2. Um, but that's because the combat is much better in uh, Prototype 1 than 2. But Prototype 2 is still good. Um, by the way, they're the same team that made the game Hulk Ultimate Destruction on the PS2, which is another good game, and that's the same concept. You play as Hulk, you pick up whatever you want, and you can blow up people, you can blow up things, and just be just walking, just fucking tank of destruction. It's a fun game to play. Ew! It's the cum. I mean, seed. That seed right there. I mean, it looked like cum. You, you, you're gonna, you're gonna cum. I'm about to cum. I'm about to blow. Oh. Man, I can't see shit. Just shoot him, man. Yeah, just like that. I mean, yeah, it, this 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 game feels good. It really does. I I keep. I just really want to say it one more time for those that are tuning in. Uh, this game, uh, feels great. The mechanics feel like there's there there are various mechanics in this game. And uh, yeah. But the overall production of this, like the graphic, like look at this dude, look at this dude. We just got to looking at some anime shit, and now you get, now you giving me this guy. Like, what the fuck is this? This looks bad. Quit putting your dick in there, John Gungrave. What the fuck's wrong with you? Anyway, yeah, this looks bad. Music's bad. Um, overall production is awful. But yeah, no, the game plays. Like if 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 Gun Grave started off like this, my brother would have never played this. I promise you. And I would have never known what, what Gun Grave is. Look at this fucking faggot. Look at him. He's like, please, I don't want you to kill me. I, I, I have I have a family. Please don't kill me. I'll suck your cock. I don't want that. <laughs> yeah, Boss Theory says this, should, this game should have Sonic music. Figure like it's like fooling around at this beat of sound. Ooh, ooh, you know what? Fuck it. I'll do that. I'll do that right quick. Yeah, 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 yeah. Not you, Lieber. Welcome back to the junkyard. This looks whack compared to the other games. Yeah, it does, but it plays well. It would be cool if devs animated clothing that would move when bullets are hitting you. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, let's see. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Oh, I'll find it. All I did was type in follow me. And if you're not going to show me this thing in seconds, we're going to have a problem. There it is. There we go. Perfect. The perfect, it's the perfect song. It's the perfect song. I did not see this coming. It's the perfect song. I 
know I can move the camera, but I'm not going to. I'm going to simulate as if you're playing Sonic. I'm trying to find like an animation you can spam real quick and I can't find it. Oh wait, I know what to do. Yes, that was perfect. There was literally a chase sequence that has the same energy as getting chased and Sonic the Hedgehog, the first level in uh, Sonic Adventure Two. But I didn't have to use the um, I didn't have to use the uh, camera. I was trying to purposely like not use the camera for that to simulate truly what it felt like to play <laughs> Sonic. <laughs> <laughs> Boston is like, Haha, I'm about to blow. Oh, <laughs> Dr. Lieber says Sonic Adventure 2 is a lot bloodier than I remember. <laughs> this says Banger Soundtrack. Yeah, those got good music. Um, there's uh, the other song that's really good. Open your heart and you will say, Yeah, uh, Gungrave AMV. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Animated music video. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What the fuck? Hey, this guy. This guy looks like a stride player. Just, just look at him. Just look at him. Ah, oh, man, you can't see him. Fuck off of me! I can't grab him. I maybe maybe I can't grab him if he's blue. This guy looks like he plays Strive. So why do you play Strive? Huh? Oh, oh, I just, I just shut up. Oh yeah, I gotta grab him. Fuck his ass. Yeah, snap his neck. Stupid ass game. Snap his fucking neck. Sorry, I'm like, I have to like alt click out the game if I want to like do anything, and I hate doing that to you guys, but I'm trying to like set my shit back to normal after playing that uh, Sonic song. This guy looks like a striving player. Never mind, he disappeared. Just like in real life. Sub 2,000 player, by the way. Are you serious? Does Guilty Gear Strive only have 2,000 players? I mean, don't get me wrong, like, Exart has always had about. I forgot, actually. Fuck. Um, 
about three to four, like in its prime. Maybe more. You guys can help me out with that. But Exart had about that many. But the thing is, everybody who was playing Exart still played Exart. Like, it was like a number that continuously stayed the same. Like, I need to do my thing where, uh, if, if I if, remind me, I gotta boot my PS4 up and just let it idle so I can have a room open for people who are stragglers who want to get a match in, but they can't. So I keep a room open, right? Uh, and you guys probably seen it before if you have a PS4. That was me the entire time that would do that shit. Every once in a while, I'll boot it up, um, have the game uh, idle. Worms! 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 Get this damn worm! Damn worm action! But yeah, I would boot up a game, uh, Exar on PS4, let it idle, um, for like days and days, and let people just come in a room and just get their matches in without feeling like they need a, that without feeling uh, out of place. Oh, you on me! Ew! Ew! I need to do that again, guys. I like, I, I'm trying to make that like a daily thing, but of course, I mean, keeping a PS4 on for that long is not good for it, but it's a PS4, so like, you know it's meant for, it's meant to be durable. What the fuck are these things? Shoot them! I'm not gonna lie, bro. This feels like I'm playing uh, House of the Dead. Yeah, it feels like I'm playing House of the Dead. Like the way the monsters look, like they look like House of the Dead enemies. Anyway, yeah, those 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 worms look like uh, the House of the Dead creatures. Reload, 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 reload. Shoot off the screen to reload. Oh shit! I gotta play House of the Dead again. Give me a sec. I didn't have to move my reticle for a second. Reload. Oh, he's doing it! He's doing the taunt! He's doing the taunt! See, he does it. He just does it because he just wants to. Boss theory? <laughs> I'm kidding, man. Anyway, but that is pretty funny. Though. I can't believe he actually, he still does the taunt. I got to see if I can do that again. How do I get in? You motherfuckers, get off me. Hell yeah, good job. I'm proud of you, Gungrave. <laughs> House of the Dead, not Slaughterhouse? No. House of the Dead. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> yeah. I am. I am. <laughs> uh, I forgot his name. It was like, you will not surprise me. This is the greatest a ruler of all time introducing the emperor I am I am <laughs> yeah 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 fucking complete <laughs> I gotta play house of the dead right quick give me a sec guys Reload! 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 Shoot off the screen to reload! <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! It's House of the Dead! 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 I gotta, I gotta, yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, I gotta play House of the Dead real quick. Reload! Reload! Re 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 shoot off the screen to reload! Get off me! 
Man, what can I say, man? I'm too good. Oh, there's more niggas! Oh, shit! It's House of the Dead! Ah! That's what I'm saying, Abby Strong. The House of the Dead 2 dialogue was peak. Fucking bitch. You fucking bitch. Alright, anyway, guys. Alright. Um There's still more? Yeah, just do that. Hey, watch this, watch this, guys, watch this, watch this. Oh, never mind. These guys are hit hurting me. Yeah, watch this. Oh, well, I was trying to do there, guys. I'm sorry. I mean, yeah, it's fun, man. It is good. It's a good game. It's not great. It's okay. It's okay. It's like if imagine if Sonic 06 um didn't have any like so imagine Sonic 06 like kept its animation with how bad it was and how just lame it looked right on the 360, but like the gameplay was phenomenal. Like if I had phenomenal gameplay, but the but the art style, like the graphics and everything, was dog shit. That's what this game feels like. doing that instead of the other super it looks so much cooler but it just doesn't last for too long and you can't move around so i'd rather do that than just like have really choppy corny as animation that they thought was passable for you know this game standards <laughs> wait what do you say Mexico, Mexico, Mexico. Michigan! Ah! He said Michigan! He did. He did. He did. You want Michigan? Here's your <laughs> fucking Michigan, nigger. I'm gonna get copyrighted so bad, I don't care. I'm gonna die. I'm going to die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. If I don't get out of here, if I don't get out of here. Oh no!
Where do I go? Wait, where do I go? Oh no! No! <laughs> No! I missed the I missed the entrance out! Now I gotta start over. I'm gonna die. No! No! I missed the uh, the entrance. I, I wasn't paying attention. At all. <laughs> That's pretty funny. <laughs> Oh man, I'm so mad my desktop audio isn't working. I really hope it's because of this game. If I don't know what's wrong with it, then there's something like that I have to understand about my computer more to make sure this doesn't happen again. And it makes me mad. It really does. Because this shouldn't be like this, man. You didn't even hear the fucking... You can't even hear the Mexican song. Whatever, who cares? It's house it. All right, you guys get it. But anyway, uh, I mean, I ain't got much else to, else to say, unfortunately. All right, there's the exit right here. Let me in! I actually got killed by some fucking ghetto ass black people. I'm pissed. I'm going to keep playing. <laughs> this game isn't that hard. It's just right now I'm sucking because I don't. I'm not really respecting. Again, this game, if you are hesitant, you will lose. So I do respect that. It's on hard difficulty, so if I'm, like, careless like that, it will happen again. Oh, get off me! Get off me! Get off me! Ah! <laughs> 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 All right, I gotta respect this game now. <laughs> like I'm gonna have to do the lame ass super because it kills a lot more people at once. It kills a lot more people at once. I know that's for sure. See? We're clear. Now they're all gonna get ate up by that rock that grinder. Dumbasses. Eat shit! Yeah, that's right. Get ate up by that grinder. Get gr yeah. Look at, look at him. Look at him. Dumb bitch. Stupid dumb bitch. Yeah, 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 yeah. Dance all over him. Dance all over him. Dance all over him. Dance all over him. <laughs> this game is so fucking goofy. All right, let me get past this level and then I'll like do some talking and do some other shit. Can't get enough of the Delta Rune ass explosions. It's getting hilarious. <laughs> Great. There are more of them coming. 
Why are they repeating this dialogue? This is nothing to grave at all. Like, why are you worried that only 10 people are showing up? But anyway, guys, yeah, um... Uh, like, yeah, this game, I would recommend it. But I will tell you to try to touch it with the six-foot pole. Like, it is good. Just touch it with the six-foot pole, and you'll be like, huh. Maybe this game ain't bad, but damn, it's just... It looks really... It doesn't look fluid or nothing. Like, you know what this also looks like? This looks like a game where someone who's incredibly talented at using, like, uh, uh, what do you call it? Unity? And, like, all those other, I guess, software programs that you let you, like, that lets you, like, create games or great game assets. It's like someone got their hands on that. That did a, he's very talented and he did a good job creating a, a gun grave on his own because he got tired of waiting for a sequel. For about 20 some years Right That's what this game feels like It doesn't feel like Officially Like the people who Have made Gungrave 20 years ago And you know Made the, the Made the anime Aesthetic flair and shit You know It's like It doesn't feel like Those same people anymore It just felt like a guy Who got Who just made some assets Out of Gungrave Made it from scratch Made it 3D looking Like decided to make a game and, um, it's like, good job, man. Now, if you were that same company that animated Gungrave Overdose and shit back in the day and you made this game, I would look at you and be like, this sucks. <laughs> Nintendo hired this man, but Gungrave, <laughs> this game screams clearance bin. It really does. But it's not a bad, it's not bad, Clarence Bit, uh, Clarence Ben. I will say that. My honest, like, end review, if you want it, like, a review score to really kind of sum up what I'm saying. This game feels like a 6 out of 10. Like, game is there, like, gameplay-wise and shit, and it's good. Uh, but the rest of the points missing is because it don't feel, uh, like, there's no attraction to the game. At all. But again, this must be all tutorial shit still, so let's see. Let's at least do like, I guess like a, a, a find like one of the boss bosses like that they are talking about. Like one of the cartel bosses. Let's see uh, if we can meet up with one of them at least and then see what happens. <laughs> I hate that. I hate when this game does that shit. Okay. <laughs> Fine, I'll do it myself. Thanos, the Gungrave fan form creator. <laughs> yes, that's what this game feels like. My uh, master Spr uh, sprite of sand says this game looks nutty. I like it. Hey, look again. It's not horrible, but it's definitely not a great game. Alright, let's see if I'm anywhere close to this, you know? And by the way, for those who are tuning in, 
just now, that right there isn't my main super, but it looks so much better than what the fuck it was earlier. Like, I couldn't stand looking at it, so I had to swap it out. I have no idea where I'm going right now, guys. I have no idea where I'm going. Ah, oh, fucker! And yeah, it's like someone said earlier that looks like a GIF explosion. That's because it is. <laughs> Damn, they look fucked up! Damn! Man, look at these faggots. Let's see if I can shoot it from here. Nah, I won't. Oh, it's a cutscene. No wonder why. Oh, was that wow. That was an actual fucking um quick time event that it just threw at me. I wonder what happens if I failed it. Well, no shit, you stupid bitch. Hit. Yeah, see, that's the move that looks stupid in my opinion. You guys remember if I if I play like this, if I play like this, I'm being serious. Like this game should feel in a way like the role is a lot more respected this time. It should feel that way. Which it still ain't, but like I had to play like this. This is the most somewhat optimal, like most effective way to play Gungrave games. If you just don't want to deal with getting hit and being like in the same place. Roll and shoot, roll and shoot, roll and shoot, roll and shoot. Oh man, I'm so down. Why? 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 Ow! You fucking nigger. He's second phase mode. I don't know what that does, but it does something. Ah! And there you go, that's how you beat him. <laughs> Dude, this is so bad. Like, they couldn't just make it look any more fluid. It just, black, black cuts, like, black screen, then cutscene animation. Like, why? Why do they do this? They were definitely on a budget when they made this game. Like, all their money went to graphics. For the cutscenes, I mean. Not for the actual game. Alright, so, um, John, Abby Strong says John Gungray fights Floridians. <laughs> A Fallen Angel says they're afterbirds. Oh, that's gross. Um, Fallen Angel says nicest guy from Detroit. <laughs> Abby Strong says it's Reptile from Mortal Kombat 2023. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mortal Kombat 11 looking at his cutscenes. <laughs> Dude, I mean, I don't know what to tell you. Was Mortal Kombat 11 that bad looking? Really? Was it actually that bad looking? Holy shit. Unless you're just being facetious. I mean, look. The action cutscenes may be bad. But, like, the end game, like, models and shit for Mortal Kombat 11, they looked good, didn't they? As much as I hate the Mortal Kombat series, I thought it looked good. At least, like, the fucking, you know... What do you call it? I thought the, uh... Yeah, in-game, like, models look good. The fatalities look good. I mean, I don't even know where to pick. Because there's so many moves, so many stuff you can do. <laughs> I 
Um, yeah, there's a lot of good moves. I just don't know what to pick. But I, I ain't trying. I ain't trying to make this a long stream. I say that to myself as you know, I might make it worse. Mm -hmm. Well, I do want to upgrade my rounds, but what else we got? What else we got? You know, I'd rather do that. Yeah, I'd rather do that. Because that one, Hellhound, is cool. But that's because Death Blow just looks that fucking bad. It looks that bad because you see how he forms it? He forms it by, like, fabricating it in existence, but it doesn't even look cool. Like, why couldn't it just been, like, an over-the-shoulder rocket, like, you know, shot? Instead, he's, like, trying to kick this thing towards you, and the way he fabricates it looks so goofy. So, because I hate that move so fucking much, I am going to replace that. Use Executioner's Blood. Alright. And now we have another mission. I mean, am I getting anywhere near, like, one of the main bosses or uh, what? The game is good, but the cutscenes are just downhearted or something. Yeah. Um, JV says, I'm curious how much, if at all... The enhanced edition of this game improved this game. Uh, surely they fixed some issues, right? Well, I, I don't know. I don't know what they fixed. I know they added Gungrave, like, overdose costume. Which, I don't, you know. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Master Sprinter Sense says, Yo, free, just a suggestion, but you should stream Toomba on a PS1. That'd be awesome and easily hilarious to watch if you play. Wow. You brought up a really good game. You brought up a really good game. Um, because uh, my brother, years ago, we used to play. That was like one of the first games uh, Like on a demo. There was a demo on the PS1. They used to call them Jam Packs. And it would take a bunch of like games, if they were coming out soon, and they would put those games as demo, make those games as, de as demos on like one dang game. I can't talk. They would take a snippet of a game and merge it with like other snippet of games that were coming out soon on like a PlayStation One disc or PS Two disc, right? And the, that was like your demos that you could get to play. We would like collect jam pack games growing up because we were broke, and that's what we had to play. We tried to find the demo that had the most amount of content in it, and we thought at one point Toomba was the shit. Toomba is such a good game. It really is. Uh, you have great taste there, my my man. Uh, Fred Sprinter, Sand, Master Sprinter. You, you you really have good taste for you mentioning a childhood f uh, favorite of mine. I mean, it's not my favorite, but it's one of my favorites because that was bonding time with family, man. And it was just the fact that there was, like... It was, like, one of the earliest stages of, like, in my opinion, a game having, like, multiple side quests that you get to do. Uh, and just, like, knocking them out gives you, like, more points to, like, do things and stuff. And Toon was just a different game, man. It was just a different game. It felt unique. You should, you should play Toon In fact, I did see Toon 2 at one point, but, like... It wasn't Toomba 1. I wanted to play Toomba 1. So, yeah. I mean, if I ever come across it, maybe you let Finger look it know because we, um, he, he loves retro games and Toomba's the shit. Yeah, dude. Yeah, this guy's got good taste. Abby Strong says Mortal Kombat? Nah, I prefer Mortal, Mortal, Mortal Kumbia. Kumba. All right. Anyway, guys, I'm sorry for keeping you. Um, let's see. The fastest way to get to it, I, I, I don't feel like. Uh, yeah, this game's okay, but like, I just don't feel like the spirit of like wanting to continue this game. Um, because just how bad it is. Like, as far it just doesn't feel like I'm playing Gungrave. Like, yeah, it's Gungrave, but it ain't because I'm I'm playing it and there's no heart, no soul, no anime feeling shit to it. <laughs> It's just good gameplay, but that's a, that's it. You just had to make the graphics look better, make the animations look better, but they didn't. 
I don't want to keep playing this. Yay, another underground tunnel mission. We just already did one. I already did an underground tunnel mission. Why am I doing another one? Why are these people like now creatively bankrupt? I just did an underground mission. What are you doing? No, you're not. I'm gonna kill you. Anyway, so yeah, Tomb Raider's the shit. There's a lot of, there's only a few decent like PS1 games I know. I don't know that many, cause I was that young to like comprehend shit. But I can only remember PS2 games and above that were the shit. If I can remember PS1 games that are good, I wish I could. Yeah, 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 yeah. JVL say oh wait hold on uh, I like what Nacho Libre says it's all grave but no gun <laughs> um by the way if you got to say sewer level count 547 are you serious is that like an inside joke or something I forgot I don't know JVL says I remember Tumba for that infamous speed run clip I would really prefer if you be quiet <laughs> how you go Bro, if you want to feel cringe, just watch that whole video. Do not blink. That is hilarious. I would really prefer if you be quiet. I'm trying to remember. He was like the, the little cringy ass guy. I forgot his name. He was like, so it's uh, now canonically confirmed that Toomba's whatever is a, a superhero or whatever it was. It was like it, he's mentioned a squirrel out of nowhere, and the speedrunner was like, I really prefer if you be quiet. And then like the game's cutscene like theme plays. <laughs> And he says, and he's trying to be like, you know, like all comforting after what he just said. But yes, uh, you know, blah, 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 what she said was kind of funny. And then everybody like in the chat was just like, hey, come on, man. Let's, let's, uh, I want to, let's have our boy cheer up. You know, the guy who's trying to commentate your speed run. Um, he's the guy himself. I forget his name was like Kitty something. Kitty 707076. But Kitty, if that was his name, uh, he, also did a speed run on his own. He's done a couple, but he did a speed run that he like, uh, like uh, he cheated, he lied about, like basically did a fucking uh, dreamy. Uh, was it was it was it dude's name? The dream. I forgot the guy. The dream guy who doesn't show his face. So he he pulled a dream, and like the guy who got shit on for talking too much during a speed run. And then, like, got fucking just snuffed out by that fucking speedrunner. Like, shut up. <laughs> so he did his own speedrun, and it gets worse. It's the guy, right, who did the speedrun. Um, or, no, like, the guy, uh, the guy who was commentating the speedrun did his own version of it. And he was playing Mario RPG. Um, he was playing Mario RPG or some shit. Like, Paper Mario. Or something like that, and he was trying to like show off like a way to do like this jump that was supposed to really cut down the game's like speed run time, but he he like cheated. He like I guess did something to make it look like he did the jump, but he didn't do it, and so he was under a lot of you know scrutiny for that. And then people were like, "Hey, wait, aren't you that guy?" The <laughs> yeah, so that dude, um. Yeah, just cringe out the max. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, wait, we get a motherfucker. That one more foe. That one more foe. Oh. What, 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 what,
Oh, you got an ass on you, alright. Doug shake it. Doug shake it. Doug shake it. Shake your ass. Shake your ass. That one mofo! Hey, that one mofo, welcome to the junkyard. Welcome to the junkyard. Take off your shoes, take off your socks, step on into the homeless circuit, and enjoy me playing this busted ass game. I mean, it ain't that busted, but it's just, it, it looks so, it looks so unimpressive. Um, you're brand new, so I had to spam me with all those emotes like what I just did now. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Like that, but I use the other official one. So welcome to the junkyard. I hope you love getting bombarded with all those emotes. Yeah, uh, it's it, the game's gameplay is good. The whole graphics and cutscenes and everything is fucking awful. But yeah, JV, he said it best. He said it best. He said, yeah, the guy Chibi was a guy. And oh, by the way, I know you're talking about that. That one guy that looks like Akuma. I see what you mean now. Uh. Damn, that's basically Call of Duty not nowadays. <laughs> yeah, my first time seeing you in the chat, man. Welcome to the uh, junkyard stream. I'm just playing the Gungrave trilogy. This is the last game of the Gungrave series, and it sucks. But the gameplay is actually good. It just doesn't have that anime flair, that 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 flair that it was known for back in the day. Like, it's got a lot more features to it, but it just doesn't feel like Gungrave. At least I can do this. Watch out. Hmm. But yeah, so that was hilarious, though. I love that shit. The fucking Chibi guy. Chibi was sitting there like he wouldn't shut the fuck up during like the speed run. And then like the other guy who was doing the main speed run for Tumba 2 told him to shut the fuck up basically. Like, I prefer VB Kawhi. Like stop being cringe. And then like just that whole experience was just hilarious. Just <laughs> It's also kind of sad though. It is kind of sad what he went through because also he was getting bullied a lot. He was kind of like a he was the law cow. He was the law cow of the game, uh, of the of like the whole moment, just of the internet for what he did, what he been through. So I hope that guy, you know, he ain't you know just taking it too hard. And I hope he's actually living a you know a good life. I hope he's living better than me. That one mofo says, "Damn, I'm so homeless and unemployed. Yeah, I'm fine with the junkyard." Best place. <laughs> man. That's how I be, man. Welcome to the junkyard. You're welcome here, man. Yeah, you're welcome here, man. As long as you recognize Guilty Gear Strive sucks. I forgot to also say that. If you think that Strive's good, it's not. It fucking sucks. Wait, wrong button! Wrong button! I did it again! Wrong button! Wrong button! That was the wrong button. I meant to do this one. I meant to do this one. Yeah, I meant to do that one. <laughs> And this one. Hey, which you can be XRF3? Not sure, but thank you, man. Yeah, we all bums in here. Now, perfect place for me, then. Thumbs up. Yeah, man. Welcome, to that one more fool. Welcome to the junkyard, man. Not a fan of it anyways. Good. Absolutely. As long as you recognize the game being bad. Bro. 
Damn, that dude got fucked up. That one right there? He got fucked up. <laughs> I was trying to do something funny. Anyway. Dude, everybody said fucker in this game. Like, they have nothing else new to say. But yeah, man, check it out, man. Check out uh, Chibi Toomba 2 uh, speedrun. Also, check out the speedrun he did where he fucking lied about uh, the Paper Mario thing. Yeah, that shit's wild, man. By the way, like, speedrunning is cool, but I can't believe it became, like, an actual, like, it became, like, an actual community of just being cringe because you don't know how to, like, awkwardly, like, overcome your shell and just be social. It's just, all I'm saying is that, like, speedrunners, like, that whole community of them doing what they do is phenomenal. It is cool to know that they are, hey, they've exploited the game this hard to do what they you know to do the shit in, in a speed run, beating a, a ten hour game in two seconds. That's cool, but like, why is it that these people are so absolutely autistic and just as bad as Chris Chan? Whenever it comes to like how they you know present themselves, how they talk to, because I get it, you know, you have to really like sweat, sweat your life away to a game to be able to speed run it that hard. But you can be, like, a fucking, still a, you know, a person that ain't trying to fucking be cringe. Like, if I wanted to speed run, I don't know. If I wanted to speed run, like, Guilty of Exarch's arcade mode with Ramothal and just do, like, crouching, like, like, fucking 2S, 2H. If I wanted to keep doing that and make that a speed run type of thing. You know, just to be like, hey guys, watch me speed run this game. If I wanted to do that, I would, and then, like, I wouldn't be weird. I'm not a weird guy. I just really hate Strive. That's it. I mean, look, I'm not saying I ain't weird. Like, I'm good. I'm a badass. I'm just saying that, like, there is just something weird about, like, speedrunners and how they're always fucking cringy as. Nerdy, neckbeard, smelly, fucking smash player looking people. And I'm just like, good guy, man. Like, damn, present yourself or something. If you're going to go in front of a bunch of crowd and, like, do this shit. Like, damn. I, I bet if you're an attractive guy doing a speed run, I bet there's going to be, like, a, like a 6 out of 10 bitch just going to, like, fly in your lap right now and be like, oh, my gosh, I love you. Please, I need to, I need to be in a relationship. And you're like, me too. Right, but instead, if you just want to not care about yourself, there's something in my eye. Uh, if you want just not want to give a fuck about yourself, then like you're only are exactly like the kind of person I represent. Like how you will look, how you will look in a fucking speed run like competition or some shit. And Chibi and that guy, they look cringe as fuck. So all I'm saying is, is like, yeah, I love speedrunners and shit, but they're always awkward ass looking dudes. They're always awkward ass looking dudes. They're always autistic. They're always like just something about them is just off. Even a guy that told Chibi to shut up, I really prefer if you be quiet. He's all trying to act all cool and shit. Like, yeah, fuck that dude, right? What a fucking faggot. But like, you look at him and he's like unkempt. He looked like I thought he looked like Aspen Gold, but like worse. <laughs> Javis says, I think most speedrunners are on the spectrum due to how much they need to focus on one game for such a long period of time. Yeah, you're not wrong. Maybe you're right. Yeah, you're definitely right about that. But I can focus on a game for a long period of time, but I'm not going to like awkwardly fucking have a hard time with people if they ever have a question about something. But I guess maybe even just the slightest fucking bit of social interaction is like if they lack that then that is how much more time they put into playing a game they're trying to speed run and that really I guess is that much more they have against me if they were like you know speed runners like professional speed runners and it's just like 
uh, you go up to him and it's like, hey, so how's the speed run? And he's just like, like timid and shy and just like awkward and he smells like fucking body odor. And you're just like, okay, but he's like fucking killing the speed run. <laughs> You know what? I should go to one of like I should go to a speed run. I should go to like PAX again or go to somewhere and then be like, hey, um, you doing a speed run over here? Yeah, and then it's just like I got my own PS2 my PS4 my or PS3, but be PS4 of Guilty Gear Exart Rev 2. And then I play as Ramblethaw and I'm just like, alright guys, I'm gonna speed run um uh Ramblethaw and her arcade story mode on easy. And uh I expect to beat this in like twenty minutes. Actually, no, wait, 15. And everyone's going to be like, oh, oh, okay. And it's just like, I'm just going to be using that as an opportunity to, like, to get to know people. <laughs> uh, I think about the same amount of hair, but just looks more unkempt. And plus, he doesn't have a lot of subscribers. He's just like, he was only popular because he roasted another, you know, autistic guy. But, yeah. Anyway, yeah, the whole thing was funny, but it is sad, because, again, that dude didn't deserve it. And, like I said, the guy who made fun of him, he ain't shit neither. Didn't even apologize. I think he didn't even apologize for what he did. I think he didn't. Oh, shit, I'm about to die! That's probably why I died. That guy right there sitting there with his... It looked actually funny, like the way he's still shooting at me, but nothing came out. No, no muzzle flash and nothing. It's like he was probably shooting like a nomadic piston at me. Oh boy, I can't believe I'm dying as many times. These enemies say fuck so much. They're like they're from an online indie adult animated series number thirty-four. <laughs> oh, oh! <laughs> Yeah, has been hotel. Yeah, they, they, they these motherfuckers say say fuck so much that that it's almost as if like there's some random indie TV show by some some Hispanic looking bitch who just looks like a white girl. She's probably not even really Hispanic. For some Hispanic bitch who's just like, I just want to bring in the world of operas and singing, and you know, I was inspired by you know Family Guy. I mean, I don't know if she actually said that, but I wouldn't be surprised if she was inspired by Family Guy, another insufferable, no longer funny TV show. But Hasbun Hotel was just like, yeah, clearly, you know, this show shouldn't be like this good. This is just, it's not good. <laughs> it shouldn't be this, you know, heavily revered. It's really not worth it. That moment, that one motherfucker says, "Man's just depressed now." <laughs> <laughs> also, if I remember correctly, Chibi did not know the speedrunner and was allowed up front because it was his birthday that day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's the worst part. Yeah, Chibi. Yeah, Chibi. Um, it was his birthday today, and that motherfucker told him to shut up. That's cold blood. You gonna tell doing his birthday to shut up? You a cold, you a cold blooded bitch. Then we actually like watch some of his response videos, and he's just like, man, fuck that dude. But you look at him, and I'm like, man, you look just as sorry as the chibi. Worse than him, honestly. Like I think like chibi still lives with his mom type of shit. And I think he is on the spectrum, too. Like, he is, like, you know, special. <laughs> Look at this dude. Oh, no! Do it again. Do it again. You bitch. Now you're gonna die! Abistron says, you said it, not me. Just indie animators. Just think more swearing equals more mature. No. No. It is mature, but, like, how... It's like... 
when you are finally of age and you're able to watch like a mature TV show, like if your parents actually raised you right to be like, you're not watching this until you're older, and you do, and then you realize that, wow, you know, this is dog shit. Because it was, like, all those times. Hold on. Anyway, so yeah, it, it just it feels like once you like get old enough and you watch a show like Has Been Hotel, you're like, uh, yeah, this is really stupid. <laughs> like, I can't believe I was told I can't watch this when I was uh, until I'm older, and it looks no better. It looks like shit. Oh my gosh. Okay, so you know what I'm not used to doing? I'm not used to reacting fast enough to doing the the the, the demolition uh, round. Because when I try to do it, the super, um, I keep pressing the wrong button. Because I suck. Like, I, I gotta remember that I can't just press triangle anymore. I have to press LT first to do this, right? You see it flashing on the bottom left? Then I do the thing. That one mofo says, homeboy, bro was in phase. And by the way, the main dude just looked look like his, look, 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 looks real hood, but extremely depressed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like he looks hood as fuck, but he's just like looking at him like, I really hate that you're here right now hitting me and I don't care. <laughs> hood ass shit. Right, I'm tired of dying, man. Let's hurry up and beat this fucking thing. I mean, I'm not going to beat the game, but, you know. I'm waiting until I see something good, good. But anyway, yeah, no, Aspen Hotel, man, like, I don't know why you're so scared to bring it up, like, just bring it up, man. I'm pretty sure we can all collectively agree, maybe, that the show is, like, stupid. Shut up. Yeah, we can all collectively agree, like, that shit sucks. Man, you got any games to recommend me because I'm bored as shit. I don't have anything to play. Uh, Guilty Gear Exart Rev 2, Blaze Blue. Um, uh, De no. Uh, why am I struggling right now? Okay, here. Here's what you can play. Red Dead Redemption 2, uh, God of War 4. Not Ragnarok, God of War 4. Uh, Battlefield 3, Battlefield 4. Nah, Battlefield 1, not Battlefield 5, not Battlefield 2042, uh, I don't know, Gears of War, Gears of War 2, Gears of War 3, uh, any Dynasty Warrior games, uh, holy shit, I'm sucking right now, Last of Us, Last of Us Part 1, don't play Last of Us Part 2, do not play Last of Us Part 2, uh, give me a second, man. Why do I actually... Why am I, like, struggling? Because I usually am pretty good at just naming off games. Like, off the top of my head. Uh, Left, 4, Left 4 Dead 2. Uh, Half-Life 2. Um, uh, uh, G-Mod. Uh, Team Fortress 2. Uh, I, I don't know what you're, what you're even looking for, man. I don't know what you're looking for. I just... I don't know what you're looking for. Abby Strong says, Mom, no, we, no, we not go buy McDonald's. We have food at home. Her 16-year-old son phases into John Gung Grave. <laughs> when you get She really needs dancing lessons. Oh! Yo, 
Uh, PlayStation 4? Okay. Damn. I'm sorry, man. I haven't touched that shit in a minute. I forgot what I have on there that was good. Uh, <clears throat> Dark Souls series, Bloodborne, Sekiro, uh, 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 what's it called? Middle Earth, Shadow of Shadow of Mordor, Shadow of War, um, gosh damn it, man. I'm trying to sound cool, but I don't sound cool. Like, you know, oh, let me give you all. I, I know what to do. And I'm trying to name off shit, and I just, I, then I stop, and I'm like, wait, what else did I play? It's just, I guess there's just so many games, man, to juggle in my head. Um, try Gravity Rush. I don't know. Gravity Rush, Gravity Rush 2. Uh. Fuck. Well, just work with that for now, man. I'm trying to play this game. All that that I said should still be should, should still be playable on the PS5, because PS4, PS5 are like interchangeable. If I'm not mistaken. Oh, play Hell Divers. Be a fucking Hell Divers right now, you fucking faggot. what's going on it's those fucking it's those centuries that's what's getting me those centuries are fucking evil because this game still follows the logic of like anything automated like a century will fuck you up at least they still follow that um that that lets me know that this game really is you know they're trying to you know make you feel like you're playing gun grave again because all those centuries back in the day like anything flying and shooting at you and was a robot like Guarantee, just eat your fucking health away. You're already held down right now. Oh, what the fuck you want, man? I ain't mad. I'm just like, just fuck, man. You, you put me on the spot. And right now, I can't do anything but to tell you, hey, all those games that I just mentioned, play those. But then you're like, oh, I already played them, and I'm well, I don't want to fuck tell you, man. Not that many good games nowadays, man. So shit. Yeah, I, I don't know what to tell you, man. I don't know what to tell you, like, as far as, like, what to play. Just seems like you probably play a bunch of games that I already played and what I me already mentioned. Oh, shit, wrong button. And because you own a P... Because I don't own a PS5. I own a PS4, so I don't know what to tell you about to play on the PS5. Except if you already own a PS4, which your account should be able to, like, again, be interchangeable from console to console. And, like, the games are interchangeable from console to console. That's all I know, right? Over here? Okay. 
Um, play Nino Kuni one and two. It's pretty good. I actually heard that's good. Oh, boss theory mentioned a good one. Boss theory mentioned a good one. Yeah, play binary do domain. You're welcome. Oh yeah, uh, play Insurgency Sandstorm. Play uh, Spec Ops the Line. Yeah, there you go. You you got a point. Everything nowadays is either half baked or just straight up dog shit. Yeah, no, but Boss Theory had a point there. Play uh, Binary Domain. You're welcome. Yeah, you you you'll love that game. Um, it is actually good. Nino Kumi made me feel like an autistic child. <laughs> okay, maybe don't play Nino Kumi. <laughs> That one motherfucker says, well, that's the downgrade of being a culture gaming motherfucker. Everything everyone recommends me, I already play Womp Womp, I guess. Yeah, man, I don't know what to tell you, dude. Well, I'm usually a lot better at recommending more obscure games. But I'm dead serious, though. Like, right now, I'm just playing this game right now. And, like, you know, it's not a great game, but it's it's playable. <laughs> it's playable and it works. And, like, because I played so many games, man, like, if you just talk about any fucking game, then I'll just throw the name out there. But you're on a PS5, so I can't help you. I, I don't know what games is worth on the PS5. All I know is, is that PS5 keeps giving me more reason to not want the fucking game console. I never want a PS5 until it's that time to get a PS5. I'm sorry. There's no reason that I feel compelled enough to play literally the PS4, but faster. That's all it is. I don't feel nothing great about PS5. Especially during the time period where everybody's getting scalped for trying to, you know, get a PS5. They get scalped on it. And, like, the, they end up paying more for what it was. And then, um, the PS5's performances, especially when it first came out, was dog shit. It was dog shit. So that made me never want to get it for years. I don't know what's the settling point for PS5 to be like, oh, it's a good game now. A good game console now. I don't know the settling point. Oh, we got a cutscene. This is all bad. Wait. Are we doing another train mission? We just did one in the first game. Oh shit. No, I was trying to um There we go. Yeah, like the PS5 sucks. It's just a better PS4, but I'm not paying that much money if it's just basically a PS4. You need to really convince me that the PS5 is it, it transcends, it ascends. All of what I've seen and what I've been overwhelmed by the PS PS4 of, you know? You better do so, so much better. But all you're doing is making me fucking get constantly games that I could get on the PS4, but they just play a bit better. A bit better? What? The frame rate's better? That's it? Wow. That That's that's it. That There's nothing else to it. I am not going to pay uh, almost damn near $1,000. Especially if I'm getting scalped just to have a game console that might fuck up more than a PS4, right? And then, like, I get a P I, I can't find any good PS5 titles. Except all the PS5 games you can get right now are literally just PS4 games. Just slightly remastered. Like, fuck you. I'm not getting a PS5. I still don't feel like getting a PS5. Um, Spec Ops the Line is playable if you get a CD. Yeah, PS5 has no fucking games. That one more fist, man. Spec Ops got me fucked up ever since I played that shit. I haven't touched an Afghanistan war game for like three or four months. Then you have to play in Search and Standstorm and feel just as bad. Um, Boss 3 says play Catherine. It's not that good, but everyone else around you will be having incredible amounts of time, uh, fun making uh, fun of you. Yeah, you're going to be made fun of pretty hard for playing that game. Uh, Baby Lone Astronaut! Baby Lone Astronaut! Welcome back to the junkyard! Play Cave Shooters. 
What, like, uh, are you talking about Deep Rock Galactic? Deep Rock Galactic is actually pretty good. Rock and Stone! Um, that one motherfucker says, I'm gonna give some of the games y'all telling me a try and see if I like them. Dude, go for it, man. Just go for it. Just go for it, man. Oh, I got one! I got one! Play Robocop! It's on a PS5. Yeah, play Robocop. That's good. It's actually pretty good. Yeah, play, um, uh, Robocop. Uh, for honor. But, like, you know, for honor is ruined by a bunch of the Ubisoft shit. But, game wise, the gameplay itself, I like it. Bro, this game feels so fucking like, like none of what I'm seeing in this game looks like it's it's just genuinely screaming like production value. Like this HUD looks so basic in comparison to all the Gungrave, you know, shit I've seen. Okay, Boss Theory says that's actually pretty good. What are some good some games gamers want to roast you for playing, guys? Uh man, don't ask me. <laughs> Gravity Rush. I mean Gravity Rush is a pretty it feels like a normal game. It's just yeah, you do play as a girl, so what? But they you know, Gravity Rush two has its moments where it's like they're trying to do that anime shit where you know, oh, look at your gar- your main character cat dress up in different costumes. And I'm just like, oh, um, well, okay. But again, I mean, like, I'm just trying to play the game, but this game is trying to pull some anime shit. Like, now look at her in a cheerleader costume. And I'm like, no, I don't want to. Check out Raven in a fucking nurse outfit. I'm like, all right, that's it. Right? So there's that. Um... Boss, do I need to answer this? Like Don Patchy or Go Go Wange? I don't know what that is. <laughs> if you don't rock and stone, you ain't coming home. The driller with the satchel charge before blowing up a <laughs> scout. <laughs> Not truly, but says the HUD in this game is the same shit you see in Strive in a lot of modern games. Thank you, dude. You know what? Thank you for saying that because. That's all this game is. It just feels like Guilty Gear Strive. It feels like Strive. I am dead serious. I think I already said it before, but I feel like with you saying it, it almost just sums up the entirety of what Strive is. It's like, it's a game that is playable. It's not bad. It's good. It's kind of good. But I just got to playing... One of the most spectacular, like, and difficult, uh, like, shooters from, like, 2002, 2003, and 4. This game came out two years ago. And before that, these games existed for about 20-something years. And all of a sudden, it's just like they forgot how to fucking, you know, give you uh, a game that has, like, production value. Like, if Finger Lickett did say it, he did say it, what, from that night before? Uh, he, uh, last night or last night. And he says that that feels like the game, all they were invested in was just trying to make the game look as pretty as possible. And because they were trying to focus on making this game look as pretty as possible, then they forgot how to make, like, the overall production value of the game, like, there. Like, when you watched me open up uh, Gungrave Overdose, you saw the intro, right? Where, like, the chains were, like, shooting, like, towards the, like, the fucking abyss, the blackness. And it was just, like, you know, like, it, it had, like, this elaborate fucking looking, you know, in- intro. Like, you don't want to skip it. And it's just, like, gun grave. Wow! And you're, like, wow, that looks cool. You know, like, there's a production value to the game. There, There's some presentation. That's what I meant to say. There's presentation to this game. 
the value of the presentation has is the most important thing about a game. Some games can get away with it. Like, for example, Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare back in the day. It had the most simplistic main menu you will ever see in video game history, in my opinion. And, like, well, but when you play... When you play uh, Call of Duty, though, the actual missions and the actual presentation of, like, what you're in, that's what they put their time into. But that felt like it was a lot more... You know, to it. I mean, look, we were all young, so we can't we can't lie and say Call of Duty wasn't a good game. It was a good game, but now that we're older, we're just kind of like we've grown out of it. It's a game that did good back in the day. And now we've grown out of it. Let the game rest in peace. But it fucking won't. They keep using this game to cater to kids. Uh, it was supposed to be like an accident. You stumbled upon Call of Duty Four, and it was actually good, and you liked it, and the production of the game was actually worth the shit. Worth the shit. Alright, so I'm using that as an example of, like, if you want to be a minimalist HUD, HUD, if you want to have a game with minimalist HUD, but, like, absolute, like, gameplay presentation is phenomenal, then, yes, a good example is Call of Duty 4. A bad example is Guilty Gear Strive, because Call of Duty 4 has been, actually, it had a history of always doing what it did, um, right? And then when 4 came out, not only was it you know, like, it was a 10 times better than what people had been through playing Call of Duty 1, 2, 3, 4, all the other shit in between. Um, what happened also was, you know, it did something different, different, like Modern Warfare. All the other Call of Duty games have always been uh, historical, you know, moments that you play as. Now you're playing an actual fucking war war with, like, M16s being, like, your primary weapon and type of shit. Anyway, so, uh, or M4s, I mean. Um, a bad example of Strive because you just got through playing Guilty Gear, like what the X, Action Core, Exarch, right? You played those games, and now you're thinking, oh, this is gonna be great. And then you look at it, and you kind of are deceived at first. Like the game does look good, but then like, wait a minute, I'm playing the game, and the gameplay looks weaker. It looks weaker. Like, it's playable, yes, but it looks weaker. Where, where where can I do this? Where can I do that? How do I do the insta-kill? Where, where's anything in this game? And Strive just literally just drops a ball on it that, that hard. Um. Anyway, I'm sorry. I, I gotta play this game. Mini Bob! Oh, oh, you got an app on you, alright? Manny Bob! What up, Manny Bob? Welcome to the junkyard. It's my first time seeing you. I hope you enjoyed all those emotes I spammed at, I spammed at you, you sorry bitch. Welcome to the junkyard. You're a fellow bomb. Take your Take your shoes off, take your socks off. Damn! He came in so fucking hot. You are awarded with getting choke hold, choke health. I don't know, Strive has the worst HUD and fighting games. Like, holy shit, it looks like a placeholder. That's what I'm saying! Everything feels like a placeholder in this game. I must answer. I remember trying to get into this guy. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what happened? Wait, I can only grab them. I can only grab him for so long. So this game actually makes me only grab this guy for so long, I guess. And then it like just made me drop him. I guess that's what happened. Oh no no no. Okay, so you can't hold him. You can't hold him for a long period of time. Yeah, look, I can hold it for a long period of time, but I stepped on that chair, and it fell off. Um, guilty pleasure games. Gosh, damn it! This guy, uh, uh, I keep a strip. Uh, the second one, undead and undressed. Uh, I mean, no, Persona Five was actually it was actually a good game. Persona 5 was a good game, but, you know, yeah, sure. Uh, I'm trying to remember. 
Oh man, his gun does the thing. His gun does the thing where like he, it's like guilt. It's like a uh, gears of war. Like they aim, but only to a certain extent, and then like the rounds just go to, to where you aim. They don't actually like you know. <laughs> but anyway, I mean, dude, it's been a minute since I played any game, so I can't really tell you for sure. Uh, like I'm not like scared to tell you, but it's just like. I mean, it's like Blaze Blue because, like, of course, you know, when you play Blaze Blue, it, it's like the most anime, modern anime type of fighting game you can play. As far as like, if you played it during like the gold, like the uh, the anime waifu era bullshit. So like, you know, cool, sure, you know, all the characters, female characters, they're everywhere and they're all attractive or whatever. And then like, you know, you get caught halfway through playing this game by your parents and then boom, bikini shot, panty shot, titty shot. So, I mean, I don't really count Blaze Blue though, but it's just like, you know, Blaze Blue in a way always made me cringe out. I never got into the story because it you can never interact with the story and, you know, that's all they did. Yeah, like, as in, I played, uh... Fucking, what do you call it? I keep a strip. I keep a strip is actually a funny game because it was a game where you fucking like would run around in like Akibara in Japan. But like the thing was, you um had to figure out who was uh basically like a vampire, and the way to kill them or get rid of the vampires is you had to like strip their clothes. And so it felt like a it felt like a a, a beat 'em up basically. But you had to, like, have moments where you would grab the NPC you were fighting against and rip off their clothes. And if you ripped off enough articles in their clothing, they would, like, vanish if they were vampires. If they weren't vampires, then they would just run away, like, crying, like, you, you, you know, you beat me up and you, you know, you ripped, you ripped my clothes off. How dare you? And it was a very modern, like, anime trope-like game. So it did the whole fucking, haha, tee hee, panty shot, aha, I'm just trying to get a girlfriend, haha, you... You know, you you just a fucking whatever. Uh, you're just a fucking uh, what do you call them? What do you call them? Weeaboo, you're a weeaboo, you're you're neat. They were using all like the anime shit, like throwing at you, and you're like, wait, what? What? <laughs> Especially because Akibara is known to be Akibara is known to be in real life uh, a city in Japan where it's all about. Just catering to weeaboos, like, because they have nothing but just insane mad merch for you to, like, buy. That's all anime-related and shit. And it was nothing but, like, maid cafes. They did a whole lot of maid cafe this, maid cafe that. It, 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 yeah, it was pretty stupid. But, like, blindly just playing that game, it was pretty funny. Because... There were like certain like weapons like, and certain attacks in the game that looked funny, and the way you would dodge people's attacks in the game, it looked like damn, like this motherfucker could throw down. And it was, but there were all NPCs, and it would just be like any day, everyday people, everyday like anime NPC looking people. Like imagine modern day anime characters like in that game, right? So they all looked like typical skinny, you know, teenage. Everybody looked like a fucking high schooler type of shit, teenage girl. But you just run up to him and be like, man, fuck you. You push him, and then you start fighting out in the middle of the street, and everyone's like, oh, wow, it's, it's, it's happening, it's happening. So I like that feeling of it, <laughs> you know? Do I fucking see, like, a major boss yet? Because when I do, I'll end the game. They're actually using in-game, like, animations for, like, the prettier version of the game. So, like, this game, right now, what I'm looking at is that they're using in-game animations for these models to animate this whole sequence. Oh my gosh, that looks so awful. Anyway. 
So if you looked at the cutscene, it's like they were using like the in like in game animations for that. So they could have made you know Grave this guy here Brandon Heat. They could have made him look cooler, like actively, but they didn't want to. I'm not gonna lie, this part right here looks actually good. Yeah, I actually do like this part. It, it looks kind of. It don't look bad. It don't look bad. I like the. I like just the depth of like how vast this the stage is. done with this game I'm not gonna lie if I see a significant boss fight right I'll stop but dude it, I'm about to just end like this game oh my gosh <sighs> that motherfucker fell off the train and actually died in a T pose state I shit you not Homeboy actually died in a T pose. That is funny. Oh man, this game is so bad, but it works. It works. That's the craziest part about it. All they had to do, all these people had to do, was let this game bake more. Let, let, bake the game more. Grill this game more. I want it well done. I like my steaks really rare. I like my steaks rare. I like my steaks moving. Yeah, I like my shit like at least medium well. I like it medium. Right now, it's about medium, medium rare. I want my shit well done. Right? And right now, <laughs> man, I, I don't know if I can keep eating this steak. <laughs> <laughs> that was the funny shit I've seen. <laughs> yeah, John Gungrave T pose, flatlines you. You just hear the Half Life fucking e HGV suit beep. <laughs> Here, I, I know you guys. I hope you guys saw what I saw. By the way, I don't want to just laugh by myself. I genuinely want you to see that again. You know, I'll do it one more time. I'll do it one more time if the game will ha if it will happen again. Watch, watch, watch. I'll do it one more time so you guys can see it. <laughs> he did like it's guaranteed. It's guaranteed. It's guaranteed. Like if you die in this, in that stage at all, you fall. You you're going to T pose and die. <laughs> That is hilarious as fuck. Oh man. <sighs> JV says I'm going to give this game the benefit of the doubt and say maybe that issue was due to you playing the worst version. <laughs> Dude, he really is deposing guys. I promise. Look, one more time. I'm not I don't want to keep spoiling it. I want to keep spoiling. I'm dead serious, guys. Look, I'm just sitting there shooting like, ah, you motherfuckers, you son of a bitch. You know, I'm like, ah, I can't believe you guys.
But I just want to. I want it to happen organically now. Just watch me play. Just watch me play. You'll see it again. I promise. Oh shit! I'm about to die. I should probably roll out the way. Yeah, and that's what happens. He did not even fall. Yeah, no, see? There you go. <laughs> that's wild, man. I can't believe this motherfucker actually dies T-posing. Not like a full T-pose. I kind of like one of those, like, you know. Anyway. He goes, oh. <laughs> that is the funniest shit I've ever seen. And Finger Licker saw that shit. He be dying. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, there you go, guys. You know that. That's Gungrave Gore. She really needs dancing lessons. Oh! Gee, I hope I don't fall off this this train and T pose to death. That'd be rather embarrassing. Oh no! I gotta, I gotta, yeah, I gotta, <laughs> I gotta T pose. No, I actually was just like, look, I'm, I'm getting overwhelmed here, man. So I was like, fuck it, I'm just gonna go out the right way. Another two decades, man. Look, just give it like maybe three more years. Two year? No, I would say about maybe a year and a half. I want to say a year and a half, maybe more. Because this game feels weird. Like there are some elements about it again that still work. Not even just gameplay wise, but like there's some aspects. Like this sequence, it looks cool. It does look cool. It's just the textures of this game could use work. That's all I'm saying. I picked the wrong super. Because I'm trying to shoot these guys and it won't let me. Oh, no! Every time I know I'm about to die, I die, I just do that just for you guys to look at like how bad this game looks. Because I, I don't want to just die on top of the train. It would be looking unimpressive as fuck and it looks lame. The Grim Reaper's gay son from Soul Eater should have been this game protagonist. <laughs> the Grim Reaper's gay ass son. His gay ass, his stupid fucking gay. Oh man, it's not symmetrical enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. This fucking nigglet. <laughs> this motherfucker right here, man. <laughs> he should have been the main character. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Homeboy. <laughs> By the way, Soul Leader was pretty good. Um, anyway, I want to get in the Fire Force, but, like, I'm older now, so if I got in the Fire Force at a younger age, it would have worked. All those stupid panty shots and just constant tit shots and just, you know, fan service that is supposed to, I don't know why they, that he's trying that hard, the creator. I don't know why he's trying that hard to throw that in there, right? I'm just like, you got a good story. Do I need to see fucking tits this many times? 
I'm not gay or nothing, but it's just like, you really can take a break from it, you know what I mean? Like, I like a show to be good without trying to also convince me to be a fucking, uh, coomer or a gooner. It a show could be, like, that could be good without whole, the whole gooning sequences, is what I'm saying. But there's too much gooning in there, so I'm just like, I, I can't, I can't watch it. I really want to give Fire Force a chance, and I will, but again, I just can't watch it, especially, like, back to what Boss Theory was saying, like, it's... What are your embarrassing games? Let's talk about, you know, like, anime in general is just always meant to have embarrassing moments. These people don't fucking understand that people have families that, you know, don't understand anime. So, give me a story that when they walk in, in my room, right, and I'm just wearing my boxers, that I'm watching a, a part of the show that's incredibly good and actually riveting storytelling and as just... A fucking tear jerking moment. You're an anime for what it is, right? Just as good as movies and TV shows that people watch, Game of Thrones, all that dumb shit, right? It's just animated from Japan. But I want to be caught watching that shit in a moment that is very integral and not just fucking, just just fucking uh, hentai edgy shit. Okay, that's the most annoying part about anime. And that's what Fire Force is. It's like I've seen good moments in that show. And the animation and the mute and the sound and music is fun fantastic. Here comes my mom. Hey baby, what you doing? Whoa, what? What the heck? And it's just like this girl just fucking literally fucking just shaking the fuck out her tits in front of the camera. It's just like, do you like my tits? Do you want to see my nipples even? And they do show you, and it's just like, wow, I didn't know this game, this, this, you're watching the uncensored version of, of, of Fire Force from channel, what was the channel that's uncensored the anime, it's like, what, ATX, who fucking cares, but they do that shit, always, and that's what is so tired, that is what's so tiresome, and that's what makes me feel sometimes ashamed of being associated with saying I like anime, alright, that's why I keep telling you fucking people, alright, when you watch your goddamn animes, alright, just talk about them, but stop fucking being like, ooh, my favorite waifu is Zero Two from Darling in the Franks, and I have a body pillow of him, and I snuggle with her, and I just cum stains on it, like, stop, stop, stop. Why can't you watch, like, fucking... Yeah, like, why can't you watch Trigun? Why can't you watch fucking uh, uh, Samurai Shampoo? Why can't you watch Excel Saga? Why can't you watch, I don't know, Those Who Hunt Elves? Why can't you watch Ghost Stories? Why can't you watch, um, um... Damn, what's another... Dude, I, I should know this. I really should know all this if I'm gonna be bitching. Anyway. Anyone remember that one Shinobi game with the long red scarf? That game was lame. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, see, you get it, Master Sprinter Sand. It's like High School of the Dead. Um, could have been great, but sadly, mm, not so much. Yeah, I said try again. Any other siblings? No, but there's oh. ten brothers and sisters. Uh huh. You're the youngest, aren't you? Yeah. Well, how did you know that? Anyway, yeah, I'm dead serious though, man, like, there are some good animes, even modern good animes, but they all fucking suffer from the same concept of, we got to have our fucking gay retarded anime bullshit sequences that, like, make you embarrassed being caught watching it, like, midway through. Like, another one that's, uh, you know, uh, another one that's good, uh, I forgot, I already forgot the name of it, Dead Man Wonderland, that's another good one. But again, it has even like sequences where it's just like, haha, you know, you're watching this girl undress. Why do I need to watch that? This is about a fucking kid who got falsely fucking accused of murdering an entire classroom and he has blood powers. That's all I'm going to say. How 
does this relate? If a here's the thing, here's the thing. If a good if an anime is good enough on its own, you shouldn't need fucking, you know, constant just sexualization, sexual suggestive shots to sell you on 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 a, on, on a show. It shouldn't you shouldn't need it. That's the whole point of like of like if a show's good, you don't need to do something that desperate. Alright, you don't need to do anything desperate, because that's what it is to me. It's, just, it's an act of desperation. And don't get me wrong, I'm not acting like that word we're no better. I rather watch I rather anime, honestly, than fucking Western uh shit because they just straight up encourage just explicit fucking, right, in front of your face. And you're trying to watch, like, I don't know, maybe Friday the 13th. Or just something that, yeah, I know, you're, you're like, you shouldn't be a kid watching this shit. But I'll never forget all the times where it's just like, you know, sometimes I'll just be in a scenario where we're watching an adult show. And then it's just like, hey, uh, you know, we're watching, uh, yeah, like, Nightmare on Elm Street. Or, you know, <sighs> I'm trying to think of something where it's just like, it's got... You know, just straight sex in there, right? Out of the, just the blue, and you're just like weirded out. Like I don't know, like hell. Even they do it in like that one Iron Man movie where like it debuted that one guy, uh, Iron the Iron Man movie, the live action one, and it was like a scene. It was like it was short, but still, it just made me uncomfortable. I'll never forget that my sister is just like, I don't know if I want to keep watching this movie because like you know she's she's very religious, and so I'm just sitting there looking at it. and I'm like. Yeah, it does kind of make me feel weirded out. It like with family trying to watch a Iron Man movie, rated teen, right? PG thirteen. Like we're all we're all older than that, but still, just the concept of like this dude sitting there just ferociously just French kissing the fuck out this bitch. Like I get the concept. You're trying to show me that this guy has he he has play, he has pull, he has game. He's the richest man of all time, and he's a scientist, and he's great. He can make his own suit and make it fly and all that shit. And he's Iron Man, right? But, yeah, that whole fucking... We, hey, you want to watch him just, like, suggestively, you know you're about to have sex? And then I'm, like, watching with my looking at my dad. And, you know, like, I just don't want to talk about sex in front of my family, dude. And if a show needs to fucking try to do that to me, that's like, man, fuck you. All right? It just, I, I'm, I'm sorry, man. Like, you can make a show that ain't got to fucking, like, always really push, like, just straight, like, in your face fucking. Because we are worse at it than fucking anime. We really are. Um, We are much worse at it. Which is why our pregnancy rate is so high at the asshole at such a young age. Um... Yes, thank you, Grindhouse Movies. Yes, Grindhouse Movies. Like, I'm trying to watch something, and I'm just like, man, I just want to watch this movie because it looks funny, and then next thing you know, there's just straight fucking just scissoring action and shit. Like, come on, man. <laughs> like, for example, I know another show... That some shows that have been grandfathered in or can get away with it is like watching South Park. But you know South Park is just a guaranteed just fucking just raunch fest. It's meant to be blue comedy, black comedy, raunch fest. Okay? But if I'm trying to watch something else for anything but like trying to just be dirty jokes all fucking day. Right? If I'm trying to watch anything but but then you do see the dirty joke. The dirty joke comes at you and just like it's like imagine getting fucking punched in the face by a haymaker, by, like, uh, uh, Brock Lesnar. That's how hard they come at you with, like, these fucking dirty jokes. And that's why I'm just like, I'm not trying to act like I can't handle it or anything. Don't act like I'm a faggot. I'm just saying that there's just, it's just so annoying. Like, the timing has always been bad with anime, and it's just as bad as Western content. But Western content, we're bad with it because, again... Where am I? It's like, you know, fuck it. Let's just show these teenagers fucking each other. And this episode of, of, uh, Law and Order. And I'm like, I was just trying to watch a Law and Order shit ass. You know what I mean? But no, you had to just show, like, like, you had to show, like, these teenagers, 
literally climaxing. And I'm like, okay, was that really needed in the show Law and Order? Was it really needed? So I'm just uh, always been annoyed by uh, it's just it's just the timing. It's about timing, and it's about it's about timing, and it's about like, is it really worth it? Is it really necessary to show it? Sure, if you're trying to expand on the story or just kind of like try to expand what the universe vibe with that, then maybe. But again. Most of the time, it's always so fucking pointless to have. I'm not even talking about anime. I'm just talking about anything entertainment-wise in general. Yeah, I bet you people are going to act like I'm trying to be like some super like modest guy. I'm not, but I am. It, it, it wouldn't hurt to like have some more, a bit more modesty in your life because too much of anything that is just lust and just anything like that, it's, it's just not good for you. It really isn't good for you in the long run. I promise you. But because... These people don't care that are producing this animation, these these media. They're just going to keep throwing it at you because they know that it's going to keep you watching. They don't help with the situation at all. That's what I'm saying. Like modesty it means more modesty means more than just oh yeah, I I don't cuss, I don't, you know, uh, I don't play with myself or anything. No, modesty more means more than that. Modesty also means in moderation, right? Or Am I doing? Am I saying that word right? Maybe I'm not saying that word right. But like, but do it in, in in moderation. I meant to say, but modesty and moderation. I guess you could say with me thinking that those two words were the same thing in common. They're the same difference. Is what I'm trying to say. They're like I don't know how to say it. Like a, there's a certain key phrase I'm trying to say here to mean like they still are exactly the applicable words I'm saying for what I'm trying to get at. Like. Because I know I'm, I, I sound like I'm being absolute, like, no sex in my games. No sex in my anime. I'm not trying to say that, because it's just, that is part of life. But I am saying that in moderation, alright, it can work. And don't fucking just full front, full, full frontal, like, fuck over the whole family in a just instant scene of just penetration and shit, right? But, like, slightly suggested if you need, but if you don't, it's not going to hurt. It's not going to hurt anything, is it? Like, what is it you're trying to fucking, like, really show me here? Um, but, yeah, no, it's like we're oversaturated, like, in sex culture. And, and, and that, you know, anime's been doing this shit for a while, too. It's just funny that, you know, all the Western side of us, of, of us folk, are, like, bitching about anime being, uh... So, you know, bad. But we have American Pie. We have American Pie. We have fucking uh, 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 42 year old version. We have so many, like, movies and shows that not only, like, just straight give you just the raunchiest shit. Granted, it is for adults. But still, anything that's like, again, at, you can watch it at PG 13 age. You watch that shit. And then it's like, even not only are they trying to show you just sex, they're trying to show you. Oh hey, you know, like you're not getting sex. That's a problem. You're 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 miserable, and they try to encourage you to you know, fucking go fuck, or else you're 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 not you're you're not human to to these kind of people, and that's like wrong. <laughs> I'm supposed to play this game, but, like, anyway, it's just, I guess Boss Theory, like, mentioned something about, like, yeah, 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 he mentioned, like, what are your, like, guilty pleasures and shit, and it just made me think about, also, whoever said Fire Force, it just made me think about, like, how, like, I really do want to watch it, it's not like I can't, hell, I'll probably watch it right t tonight, but if I don't, 
I don't know, it's because I saw it, but like, again, if I'm trying to get into it, it's going to be so annoying just seeing that one bitch who's got like, her firepower is, is uh, by, I have like, uh, I, by fire, forms around me like in the shape of a cat. That's her firepower. She has like cat-like powers, but made out of fire. It's such a stupid power to look at. And because it's such a stupid power to look at, it's like almost intentional for them to be like, oh, it, now it justifies us always sexualizing this one girl. Every time she gets burned up, her body gets fucking like singed, her, her clothing gets singed, and now you just see her fucking undergarments, and she's incredibly curvy, but she's not even 18 yet. And I'm just like, what are you people doing, man? What are you guys doing? You know what I mean? Like, it's just stupid. Especially the frequency that they do it. That's what I'm saying. Like, there's, like, almost no moderation for when it happens in that show, Fire Force. Right? When it happens, it's just, it happens. And it happens so much. Like, even, like, they, they have female villains in the game. Or, 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 female villains in, like, one of the episodes. And, like, the moment she got burned, right? She literally got caught on fire. And she had to hide. And then, like, her fucking F-cut tits are just hanging out. Just to be like, damn, oh man, that was close. But I'm like, dude, like, what the fuck? Like, why is every girl also got to be incredibly fucking, like, busty? Like, god damn, see, now this is getting annoying. I do like how these guys are just hiding in the overheads, the way they just come down. That is kind of funny. Yeah, that's all I'm saying, man. Like, it's just, please, it's just, I just wish to see more of that shit in moderation or something like that. Or do the fucking beach episode. The beach episode has always been a joke about, like, how, you know, we, they will view... How anime is viewed, like typically by parents and shit. Like they walk in and then during the beach episode scene. But like, that's just this only episode of fan service that you should have. I actually agree that if you're only gonna make an episode about a beach episode, let that be the only episode where you get to show off as much of your fucking character, half naked. Damn, hell, fucking naked as much as you want. Have as much fucking innuendos. Hell, fucking sex in there. I don't care. Um, but let that be the only episode because once you know that that's just filler. That's, like, once you watch enough anime to know it's filler, then you can just skip that completely. As long as I know I'm not missing out on anything outrageous. But if I'm missing out on everything outrageous, but, like, it's covered up by nothing but just fucking, and my mom is like, alright, if I catch you watching this again, you're fucked. I'm, I'm gonna beat your ass. And I'm, like, mad because the story is actually good, and it's, like, got a good theme or something based off it, and you're like, well, guess I won't watch it. You know, I'm back to, you know, whatever Spongebob episode... Whatever, uh, I'm just, ugh. So, like, we shit on beach episodes, but, like, I only think that they should be, like, the only bit of fan service you get. Everything else should just be right back to, like, usual, you know? Um. But, oh, yeah, and also back to what I was saying about, uh, how you guys need to be, like, how, like, I, re I always wish you guys were just, like, mature, like me, and some people I know about anime, like, you watch it, but, like, you don't, again, go around saying Oni-chan and fucking uwu and, and unironically saying, like, stupid anime, like, bullshit, weeaboo shit. Please don't ever do that around me. I will fucking, like, not act like I don't know you, period. And, um... If you just want to talk about, like, what happened in an episode of, like, My Hero Academia, which I still haven't even finished watching it, like, and it's got its moments in there, too, where it's just like, ugh. And these are high schoolers, man, like, ugh, fucking, I don't even know. Like, yeah, sure, I can tell that De uh, Deku and uh, Ur Urika, they like each other, and that's cool. But, like, I don't need to fucking see this bitch, you know, like, naked. Alright, this is like, what the fuck? <laughs> Um, 
don't type in anything about fucking my academia i haven't watched it like all the way through i know you guys are way ahead of me uh but like back to like yeah, if you want to watch if you want to talk about like an episode my academia and be like man that was a good episode right yeah but the moment you're like haha you know uh fucking deku sign blah 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 fucking uh oni chan like you like you're sitting there unironically again trying to be like haha i think this is funny you show me a picture of a fucking you know, girl with her panties showing, like, trying to make, like, a, trying to unironically make, like, a, a, a meme or something, but the meme isn't funny the moment I see an anime girl, like, I don't know, doing, like, that stupid hentai face that, uh, hey, what do you call it, a hey gal? Like, that's not funny. That's just sex. That's just sex. And I'm, I'm, a, I'm mad that you're showing me this. <laughs> and you think that you have no shame looking at it. Like, if you have no shame, like, looking at this shit, and you're like a grown-ass man, I'm like, yeah, no, I'm not, I don't know you, I don't know you. Don't ever fucking talk about anime like that, just talk about it like a grown-ass man, we'll talk about, like, watching a movie, or a famous TV show, just do that, but the moment you start fucking trying to do anything from the show to be like, haha, stupid anime kawaii desu bullshit, like, no, get the fuck out of my face. I don't know you. Oh my gosh, these fucking people won't die. Watch my health. How are you going to tell me to watch my fucking health and it's been like I died so many times from almost like getting shot up and I haven't heard this bitch yet tell me watch my health. I'll just die by T-posing off the train. How about that? I wonder if you can upgrade the damage in the melee in this game because like I, I can't I hate how many times I have to swing on these people. It's not it doesn't work. Man, get the fuck off me. Can't even see what I'm shooting at. Hell, I mean, Dragon Ball, right? I hated all those times when, like, Master Roshi... Like, I get it. He's supposed to be pervy. Like, as long... If it's, like... You know, like, the way they try to show Master Roshi being a pervy old man type of thing... As long as they did... Le if they only did less of that, it would be funny. Right? Kind of like, oh, look, a dirty magazine type of thing. But, like, you know... Just trying so hard to purposely show me, like, a fucking half-naked girl. And Master Roshi's like... Ah! Oh, let me see if I can do it. I can't do it. Ah, Goku. I can't do it. I can't do it. I cannot do it. I, I thought I used to be able to do it, but I have to kind of have a more raspy voice and, like, I have to be more tired to, to sound like, Master Roshi. I can't do it. Whatever. You know what I'm talking about, right? I always sometimes be like, eh, all right, whatever. But... I can't even get too mad about Master Roshi's, uh, like, fucking fan service moments because they, they, they weren't as outrageous as the way you see them now. They aren't as outrageous as the way you see them now because they knew the amount of fan service that they put in Dragon Ball Z was just enough to be like, they only knew that it was always been about Goku fighting fucking intergalactic, interdimensional monsters, demons, aliens, and shit. You know, blowing up universes and shit. Like, that's how powerful Goku is. He's just as strong as trying to get. Um, so they actually balanced out, like, the amount of fan service, the amount of, like, padding, like, bullshit times they'll have where Goku's just chilling. Right? Um, all those times, like, you know, that was just. It was a lot more lighthearted in comparison. It was a lot more lighthearted in comparison. And it was more comical than it was sexual, is what I'm saying. It was more comical looking than it was sexual. The anime I mentioned earlier that I thought was good, Those Who Hunt Elves, that it's comical the way, you know, they sexualize, like, the sexualization of the female character. It was more comical because what happens is, is Those Who Hunt Elves is these motherfuckers are trying to fucking, 
the only way they can, you know, do what they have to do, there were women that needed this done too. It wasn't just a bunch of guys like, oh man, I want to see her naked. No, these women were like, please, you need to undress so we can fucking, like, get home. <laughs> I'm sorry for spoiling this if you haven't seen it yet, but I'm just saying, like, the, the you know, those, those who are elves is like, yeah, if you, if you watch it and you're thinking, oh, wait, didn't Free to Think Free recommend that? But I thought you hated seeing, like, fan service and shit. Well, that's the whole point of the the, the, the plot of that is is supposed to be based on fan service, but in a comical way. Like, like they, you know, the, the, the women and the characters do, like, you, you do see them naked, but, like, you don't see them, like, full frontal naked. They always are, like, just covering up just enough, or it's, like, usually, like, a like a bus shot, like, where the, you can only see just, like, the neck shot ne- from the neck above. Of them being, like, naked. Or, like, it's just always more comical looking when they're running around naked. Instead of it just being meant to be super sexual, like, poses and shit. They're never seen super sexually posed. Uh, and plus, the only reason why I mention that show is because it has the, one of the funniest dubs I've ever heard <laughs> in human history. Man, fuck you! I want to be done with this. Oh, shit. There are signs now. Wait, where'd I go? I died. What happened? Oh, wait, I know what happened. One of the fucking signs must have knocked me out. And the game actively was still trying to, like, uh, like, have me active, like, on the stage. Like, the stage didn't pause. So when I did my thing, my super that pauses everybody else, the stage kept going, and I ate shit. So that's pretty funny. Um, Nacho Libby says, also on the topic of super into anime people weeaboos, you just remind me of the guy in high school who used to unironically do Naruto hand signs, lol. Yeah, see, that's gay. That's fucking cringe. If I ever catch you doing that shit, I'm going to fucking not know you. Be lifelong friends, but the moment you do that, I'm always gonna act like I don't know you because that shit is fucking cringe. Oh, sorry, Gato, are you still there? Um... I never watched Villain Saga. I've been needing to watch it. I heard it's actually good. I heard it's actually good. I'm dead serious. Like, I, I think I heard it's actually good. I can't wait to try it. Um, There's a bunch of shit I need to watch, man. I really do. Uh, I need to really finish up a lot of shit. But, you know, for the most part... <clears throat> um, All I'm saying is, is just, again... Just to end it, end it right here now... Like, I just would like to see less sexual, like, you know, looking, sex, you know, content, like, meant to be, like, you know, coom, coom, coom to this, coom to, you know, like, go coom after this type of shit. Um, and, 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 like, just, if it doesn't relate to the story, why do I need to see it? That's all I'm saying. Um... Not saying that it shows bad because it hasn't in the first place. As long as they do it only just enough to where it's like barely noticeable, or like if it is part, like if it's actually heavily plot driven, or just just if it was meticulously added to the, you know whatever your shit you're watching, that isn't just completely being like, hey, mom and dad, I know you're wa- I know you're coming in that son's room and why and you're watching he's watching anime. And then instantaneously just like, damn your hentai. Like, yeah, see, that's stupid. <laughs> Wait, no! I didn't want to give up! What the fuck? Damn it! I pressed the wrong button. I hope I keep my save my checkpoint. Now, I'm about to be done. Like, after this mission, I, I can't keep playing this. Like, uh, I'm, I'm glad I did get a chance to play it, and then it all worked out. I'm just mad about the desktop audio still. Wait, what's going on? Not what's going on my shit. Oh, there it is. Man, 
man, fuck these dudes. Oh shit. Almost I got whacked. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry to keep pausing. Another good anime. Another good anime to watch that ain't got that shit. It's just like fucking Attack on Titan. Which I haven't finished yet. That's another like that's that's how you do an anime with like there has some funny moments in it and shit and it but it's just, it's meant to be an overall serious like gruesome anime. Zero fan service. Yeah, no shit. But I want to be done with this. They didn't even fucking die. They will now. Faggots. Oh no! Wow, maybe, maybe that, maybe that bitch was right. I was supposed to hurry up. <laughs> oh, man. Look, I want to keep this at least four hours, so let me see what I can do. There we go. Oh, I forgot. You know what I really suck at doing? Is remember I gotta recharge my health on my shield. Ouch! Oh shit! Damn, that took a lot of health out of me, man. I fucking suck right now. Why can't I play this game right now? Why do I suck? I am not lowering the difficulty. If I didn't... I didn't know the entire time it was accidentally on hard somehow. I don't know when and where it did, but... I'm now gonna play it on hard mode because the game ain't that hard. There we go. <laughs> He's not even on the fucking platform. Oh shit, boss there he's bouncing, guys. My 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 best mod. But he's gonna be spreading democracy real soon. Hope you guys will too. But yeah, I can't keep playing this game, man. It's okay, but like ugh. Like, this game has the most placeholder type of shit I've ever seen. Like, just click the game, click the mission, boom. This P this, this, this JPEG background. <sighs> Load, and then hit the button. You don't even hear a click. Oh, wow, this game's bad. Oh wow! This game is actually struggling. Can you spread democracy in Haiti? I 
I mean, depends. I will after I take this piss. Lost well, Sisters could have sworn I was in Haiti by the looks of it. <laughs> Uh, boss 3 says could have sworn I oh yeah, I read that not sure if it says also damn what is the modern game devs and making their games look as sterile as possible um I just had a moment of deja vu by the way guys I actually just had a moment of deja vu that shit's tripping you guys ever get deja vu you feel like you like you've just been through the same scenario like at some point all over again um that, that is the most phenomenal thing I've ever felt, like, is getting deja vu, like, man, it just happens. I wonder if that means something in the brain, like, you know, like, if that's just, is that what it really means for a human being to witness deja vu, even if he never witnessed it before, or he has that feeling of it, I wonder what that means. Because, you know, like, I get all worried sometimes and think that if you ever get deja vu, that's, like, a sign that you're, like, mentally declining. But not, like, too bad. It's just that it means that you're getting older or that you're, like, getting to a point where you're about to, again, like, you know, it's just weird. I over-exaggerate over too much. I hope it doesn't mean anything crazy. It just, it happens. Because I know damn well I have not had deja vu ever about the situation I was just in. Like, I know I didn't. Cause like it really feels so It feels so otherworldly dude It really does It feels so otherworldly As if like I don't, I don't I don't know what it is I don't know what it is God God is such a fascinating being That I think in my opinion Like God is such a fascinating being That he made you live a life before That like you won't remember But fragments of And you, you won't even feel like you truly remember it. As if I lived before or some shit. That's how it feels when I get deja vu. That's how I feel in general. But it's just such a weird sensation, dude. Like, I don't really, really believe that. But it's just like, again, whatever it is, man, I just felt that shit. And, wow. I try my hardest to, like, reflect on shit and be like, where did I remember this? And then it's just... You don't actually, you'd never remember that at all. But your brain is tricky into thinking so. Yeah, dude, it really does make you wonder. It's trippy. You, when you get it, you get it when you sleep? Like a second event? Yeah, yeah, it just feels so weird. And I'm getting fucked up, and I hate that.
I'm not gonna lie, maybe for just that moment of me playing this game, that felt like the most gun grave like shit I did in a minute. And that it felt that was the most closest I ever felt to saying that you know what, this did feel this does feel like a good gun grave game. But it's actually still not. Like, don't get it twisted. This game is still far from like actually good, good. But the gameplay is still intact in a way that it made me feel like that sequence, the gu the, the music right now, like the music right now and shit is actually not bad. And that whole sequence of me doing what I did, it, it just felt like how Gungrave did feel before. Uh, overdose in the first game. So, you know what, like, maybe this game isn't too, 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 too bad, but it's still pretty bad as far as just uh, presentation. But that presentation, it was there for, that, for a split moment. It was there, and then it went away. Hurry, Grace. Faster. Maybe it feels like that if you just stop caring. Because right now, I'm like, fuck it. I just stopped caring about how bad, uh, ugly this game looks and shit. Like, it, it, it really does play well. I will recommend it a little bit. Only because, like, if you are a Gungrave guy or know anything about it, all I recommend it just because, you know, there is, like, three games of it, and I feel like at least, like, just the three games that exist in existence always have to be, you know, reminded, like, recollected of. You gotta collect all three. Not the best, you know, way to end Gungrave, but still... They tried, but it's just what made them though still think that this was enough. You know what I'm saying? Like, what made them say that this game was absolutely enough? It, it, all you had to do was just bake this shit in, like, maybe two more years. Like, you saw the way they ran in? Like, these guys right here, you seen that? The way they ran in, like, looked bad. But, like, when I, if I just play the game and no, don't care, I'm not gonna lie, it's just, it, this feels like a pretty decent game. I like doing this. They're not even looking at me! Oh, wait, that's because they're shooting at, uh... Oh, that, that's actually because it's a cutscene. Are you okay? You're hurt. He doesn't care, and by the way, that looked really bad the way she walked up. Her eyes are too far apart. Why is she look like that? Yeah, why did they move like that? Yeah, it's like her eyes are far apart, and then it just looks. Ugh, I don't know, man. Like the whole laughing, like coughing, spooky skull thing. It just, yeah, it, it, like that, for example, it just feels dumb to me. It just doesn't feel like Gun Grave. Like, it doesn't feel like Gray's character or whatever there is. But whatever. JV or both. I don't know what to tell you. That's all I can say. It just feels like both. By the way, though, like, this gunplay, as ugly as this game looks, it really has improved. It actually has improved. I'm not going to lie. It has improved a whole lot. Oh, you're much tougher. 
Yeah, no shit. You gotta make it. You gotta survive. Stupid bitch. Like, because I can control the camera on my own, it really makes the flow of combat so much easier, to be honest. It really does. This feels like how, like, if they did this only in Gungrave Overdose, oh man, like, wow. Shut up, bitch! Act like I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. These people are acting like... You know, that's the most annoying thing. These people are acting like... See, that was actually cool. I like doing that. That was fun. Come on, you fucking bitch. You stupid bitch. You fucking whore. Yeah, um, wait, what was I saying? Yeah, like, these people are acting like Gungrave doesn't know what he's doing. It's like the third game in. Like, you should be talking to me less. But you should be talking to me less. Why are you so worried about me? I've been doing this shit so much longer than I've known this bitch for, like, 30 seconds. Which is literally all I know about this girl is, like, 30 seconds worth of anything. Man, why do I keep getting fucking bees? I hate getting bees, man. I should probably upgrade my, like, anything that's about damage. Anyway, guys. Sorry for not reading the chat as much, man. This is... I guess, like, I, like, I am starting to, this game is starting to kind of grow on me a little bit. I do kind of like it. I, I am kind of liking this game. Not, like, too much, but just enough to say that, uh, you know, the gunplay is good. I just hate that I have to ignore, I just hate that I have to ignore, like, this game, uh, the game story. I hate that I have to ignore the game story because I'm looking at Mika and I don't even care about her anymore. Now I really don't care. I don't care how they try to make her look all stacked and shit. Like, she looks still like they're trying to keep her fucking barely 17. <laughs> the Death Hauler? Yeah, that sounds pretty lame. I didn't know that. I'll do one more mission. I can't keep playing this, man. I said I was going to do one more, maybe at one point, but I said, fuck it. Let's see what else this fucking mission has to offer. I'm just waiting till I can see anything about, like, this game tell me, hey, uh, big boss fight. Damn! Man, they came in out of nowhere. My last mission, guys, and that's it. That's the Gungrave trilogy, man. Maybe this game might be good enough for me to want to play. To get back into it next time, but I, I did say this is a finale, man. Yeah, you see what I'm talking about? Like, it's so annoying listening to this bitch tell me this shit. Like, shut up. Like, if I was Mika, I would just, like, call her in and be like, look, every time you talk in that radio, I want to hurt you. Like, shut the fuck up. Me and Grave, like, have been doing this shit for a minute. Stop acting like you are just so worried. Thank you. I appreciate you being considerate. But we need to keep this chatter to a minimum for, like, important shit to know about. Not that, oh no, Grave, you're in, you're in the great danger. No, he's not. Dude's already fucking dead. 
I give him, I give this bitch my blood. We give each other each other's blood because we are the only people with the same blood type. So shut the fuck up. We are fine. Like, whoever this new girl is we're trying to introduce, I'm sorry, man. I, it, it ain't working. I don't care about her because I haven't seen her. I haven't seen, like, too much of her to give a fuck. Can I even play as her? No. At least I don't know. What are you trying to show me, game? When does this game fucking show me anything at all? Right now, I just feel like I'm just going through so many missions that I just feel like... Again, like beta fucking tested, like beta test versions of this game, alpha built versions of this game. Stupid fucking lollipop chainsaw knockoff bitch. Man, if your advice coming in in such a nick of time saved me from realizing uh, too late about those rockets. Like I haven't been hit by rockets before. Man, this fucking guy, he's, he's, quite, he's quite cheeky. He's quite fucking cheeky. Look at his sorry ass. Man, you guys killed my fucking target. What's up, bitch? Man, that's like this game has the most uh, underwhelming shit. I, I swear, I promise. I was like already aiming at the upper level. Great, watch out! I'm a brand new character. I had things I had to say. You just don't get to see my face. Come on, here you go. Yeah, eat that shit. Anybody left? Damn, dude, they just keep coming. All right, guys. I'm dead serious. After this, I'm done. <laughs> this is so drawn out. Like, whatever this story goes, ain't going anywhere, man. Yeah, I don't think you're dead till I see giblets or you ragdolling.
All right, man. I mean, I ain't got nothing else to say, man. I think you guys heard enough about me saying whatever. I feel kind of talked out right now. I'm just ready to end this stream. Yeah, depending on where this mission it takes me. The story is going straight to the grave. It really is, man. I, I, I don't see any story, man. I see nothing. Like, this is weird. There's, like, nothing. Just a whole lot of, like, the only, we finally got a cutscene where you get to see Nika again, and I look at her again, I'm like, wow, you look, you look ugly. <laughs> You gonna beat this game next stream? Uh, no. I, I think maybe in the future, but I'm not gonna like. As part of the gun game trilogy, like what I'm trying to do, uh, I think I'm done. But like, I might play this game in the future again. But I, like, I'm done trying to be like the gun game trilogy, cause like you already can tell this is a trilogy, right? So I just want to get that theme out the way, and then. On my own, just come back one day and be like, hey, I am playing Gungrave Gore again, but like, I'll just make it like Gungrave Gore. Like, no trilogy, nothing. There is no story. Alright, you just, you're literally fighting four cartel, like, leaders. You're, you're trying to find these four cartel leaders and take them down. Uh, but like they they did like this I don't know what you call it. It's like they did like there's no story story cutscene. All it was it felt like a refresher. It, you know what I mean? Like it looked like a previous last time on Gungrave. But they, there was no previously last time on Gungrave shit. Otherwise it would have mentioned Gungrave overdose stuff. But it didn't. It only just mentioned Mika and Gungrave, right? And they're still I guess going about trying to fight Sea. And now, Mika's formed this shit called, like, Connell, whatever, something. It's some stupid name. I don't know why I can't think of anything normal or anything cooler than that. But some fancy word, uh, proper noun, uh, uh, gang of people trying to fight against, uh, C, and it, you know, including Mika and Grave. They, si they saved this girl from, like, one of the bad guys, and then you find out this girl... You know, she joins the fucking team too because she wants to pay her pay them back, which is like okay, cool, all right, honorable. Um, but she all of a sudden is like the most chatty, most annoying bitch to hear on the radio because you hear her only through the beginning of the story, and when you look at the the, the cutscene, the intro of the game again, like or like the actual when you start the game game, there's just like this. It, there is no actual cinematic cinematic. It's just like this, just a bunch of some sometimes animated shit, but mostly still shots. Like again, it looks like a like a I forget what you call it, but like a like a it just looks like a refresher cutscene. There's nothing really fleshed out. You don't even get to see the girl truly in the face what she really looks like, and she's just like, "Hi, you know, I'm this person," and you know, I don't even care anymore. Because I don't even care, I suck at explaining shit, like, I don't even care what I explain no more, because it's just going to sound even more convoluted. Like, the only thing that is cool is, like, I do like the feeling of having more, um, I do love the feeling of having more, uh, moves I can unlock. I love the feeling of having more moves I can unlock, uh, and using them. It does feel good that way. So 
yeah, like again, the gunplay, the gameplay is phenomenal. It is pretty good. I finally like that it feels like a third-person shooter instead of the original tank controls. Org man, a monstrous creature created during the dominates his opponents with abnormality. Oh yeah, thanks for letting me read that game. I appreciate you, game. Thanks for letting me read it. Man, what a, what a guy. Oh, that wasn't a boss? I thought it was. Maybe there's more of them. Yeah, there's more of them. Okay, I'm sorry for not talking, guys. Anyway, just like Dark Soul. <laughs> yeah, it's convoluted. It don't make any sense. It's good gameplay. What the fuck is going on? What? You motherfuckers. Now y'all all gonna die. It is such an impractical suit. That, that, that super I do where I just shoot like that, it's so impractical, but it feels so fun to use. It really does feel fun. Chips are those? What kind of chips are those? What kind of chips are those in there? Let me see. Ah, oh, I blew up the chip machine. The snack machine. Man, this game just really draws itself out. So I fought those bosses, I guess. They were probably bosses. Whatever they were. And that's that's it. It's like you don't see him again. You know, probably. And building meter is so fast. Building meter in this game is so much is so fast. It's not even funny. I can see that for the twentieth time. I do also like doing this because it's just so spammy. The spammy is just it's so funny. Like, spamming this shit is so funny. Alright, let's see what else this game has to offer. More. And more. And more. I hate when I say I want to fucking be done with this game and what happens is... It just keeps drawing out more and more 
and more. We're 80% though. Shake it out. Welcome to the junkyard. Brand new to the junkyard. Or at least brand new to the stream. Make yourself at home in the junkyard. We're almost done playing this game though. Because I can't keep playing this shit, so drawn out. Hey, I hope you enjoyed me spamming all of those uh, hot keys and emotes at you because you're new here, and that's what I do to new people. Guilty of Strife fucking sucks. And if you don't agree with that, well, you know where to go. Where's Real 3? Oh, I can't wait to be done with this shit. Oh, that's your friend there, Gato the Trigun? He's your friend from Bra Brazil. Junkyard section. Hell yeah! Alright, so he knows what it's about. He knows what it's about. Okay, okay. Dude, I can't wait to be done with this. There's still some people around here somewhere. Well, I blew that up. Did that matter? And he really so back then you can shoot those guys enough to where they just give up. But yeah, that's pretty bad. That's a lot of shooting. They're still alive. Damn, they're eating up my shield. What the fuck? This is so dumb. I'm sorry, guys. Can I please just... Uh, like, it's not like this game... It's just these games have known to be such a drag. I feel like this level is longer than the other ones. These levels are so... Freaking long! He's locking me out. I can't move. The guy behind me, he won't let me roll. <laughs> Alright, we're good. Oh my gosh! Wow, that's a pretty low blow there, game. I actually can't get mad. That's pretty funny. They actually sat there and were like, trying to be like, Oh man, I'm so glad I'm done with that. Let me go to this corridor. I hope no one fucking surprises me. And guess what? Immediately. <laughs> These transitions are so fucking bad. But damn, I can't believe I almost got got by some guys with flamethrowers. Guys, guys, got to the dragon. He's playing Killer Instinct now because of free two. That's your boy, free to think free. Man, I'm so glad that you uh you're playing uh Killer Instinct, man. That's great. I'm happy for you, man. Guys, shout out to uh, your boy Gato the Trigun. He's 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 playing uh, his some Killer Instinct now. That's how you do it, man.
Any other siblings? No, but there's oh. ten brothers oh. and sisters. Uh-huh. You're the youngest, aren't you? Yeah. Well, how did you know that? Alright, yeah, but seriously, yeah, I'm happy for you. Alright, thank you, Lucas. Says I'm glad it's grown on you. Yeah, this game is kind of like growing on me. Who knows? I might beat it. I'm kidding. I'm not going to beat it. Uh, Abby Strong says more proof finger is the chosen one. The true, the true John Grungrave. <laughs> I don't know where the fuck this came from. To be honest, but I'm laughing that like OG Finger Licker is constantly considered John Gungrave now at this point, and that you guys are looking forward to seeing him. Uh, sorry, game ain't too the game ain't retro enough for him. Uh, Javier says playing these so close together may have not been the best idea. It's like playing multiple Dynasty Warrior games so closely. Yeah, it is. C to the O to the MBO. Yeah, yeah, yeah. C A yeah yeah yeah. C to the O the MBO. C to the O the MBO. C to the O the MBO. I'm glad got to the chat gun playing that shit. We we should all anyone that has a game, we should all like see if we can make a broom and just play some killer instinct, dude. <laughs> I'm Johnny on the spot, great ride a gun. <laughs> Fuck you. You dumb bitch. Y'all are being stupid. I'm just looking at what this level looks like. If it's just another run through here for like thirty minutes and shoot at people almost fucking you up because it's hard difficulty, then I'm not gonna play this anymore. Just the way he walks in the room makes me think there's nothing new. It is just nothing but like, yeah, see? He just looks at, there is no stage or nothing that is specifically a boss fight. How about no? I just did. Oh my gosh. Oh man. I hope you guys heard that. I turned the game all the way down. <laughs> or you at least just saw the screen. <laughs> Grave, jump in that container. And I just said nope. And I just clipped through the whole world. He probably T posed. <laughs> I see he's falling through the fucking sewage. And then she's like, Grave, please don't fall down. Like, shut up, bitch. Like, that's what she is. Imagine, like. Doing what you do best, and then someone's constantly like, yeah, backseat, like, who said said best earlier, backseat graving, and it's just so annoying, man, this game is so insufferable. Oh, yeah. What is this? Now, here's the thing, I think there definitely has to be more to the game. Because I thought this game had you could play as some other character. Like, again, I thought you could play as the girl. But, uh, anyway. Oh, wow, look at them trying to be like, hey, look at this. This right here is the history of Gungrave. Yeah, 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 we'll look at that later. Play Brawlhalla? I don't have Brawlhalla. I don't feel like playing Brawlhalla. Like, right, no offense. I don't, I don't accept too many requests, but I only accept some if it really just feels like up my alley. And right now, to be frank, I just don't feel like playing Brawlhalla. Um, but, yeah, no, this game, I can't keep fucking playing this shit. It's so fucking, like, it's definitely good. I, I, I can't believe I'm actually saying that the, the, the gameplay that I've been sitting there yearning for, as shit got much harder in Gungrave and Gungrave Overdose, I can't believe that this game finally lets you just play third person and it feels actually good. 
it feels actually good. Like, you're doing the same shit, essentially. But, like, it feels so much better to do. Like, it feels like a third-person shooter with, like, a twist. It's kind of like what Bulletstorm wanted to be, in a way. Not that Bulletstorm sucks, but, you know, like, how it just feels like a shooter. But they want you to do, like, cool, stylish shit. Well, yeah, you're doing that in this game. But it, it feels like a third-person shooter version of Bulletstorm, but, like, maybe better. Only because, you know, I haven't played Bulletstorm in a hot-ass minute in that, like, you doing the shit again in um, Gungrave. Right after you play Gungrave Overdose, you know, I actually can't get mad for how, like, this game, the entire time, uh, it plays. It just plays. But the reason why it's so lame is because of how bland it is. Like, listen to this music. This song probably looped about five times in a row, right? They don't have, like, a drawn-out, like, main menu music that you can sit there and maybe listen to for about a good 10 minutes or something, right? Nah, it's only, like, a fucking, like, minute loop, maybe, like, 45-second loop of this fucking song over and over again. And it's not even a good loop. It just ends, and then it replays again. And so, like... You hear that, like, you see the HUD of this game. You see the... Everything feels like a plays over HUD. Feels like the game is like in a pre-alpha stage the entire time you play. Um, the the, the cutscenes do look good, but then like because you got through playing Gra Gungrave Overdose or or uh, the first Gungrave, it just feels so weird to see everybody look 3D looking. They don't even try to make the characters look like you know like a Cyber Connect game like Naruto. Ultimate Ninja Storm, where, like, the characters are 3D, but they have such an anime look to them. Like, clearly, cell shaded Nah, this is straight, realistic-looking, like, character models. And, like, Mika's eyes are too far apart, and just uh, so much other shit. It just feels weird. I'm not digging it. Yeah, Grave got his own Navi. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, what's it? Like, it's so annoying. And, like I said, you don't even see anything, unless... Like, you get to play as her, or some shit like that, and, like, as you keep playing this game, right now, this game just p feels like you're just playing the same shit. There's nothing new, nothing different. There's not enough boss fights for me to fucking care. I have yet to see any other boss fights. This game has really bad pacing. It's so fucking... It's just the same shit. You know, if you're gonna give me a new gun grave, maybe do something that's really actually that much more different from the game. Like, let me have a moment where I can actually ride the chopper that we saw in the first game. Where you, like, ride the chopper, and then I was like, oh, you're gonna ride that chopper? And I'm like, oh, you don't? <laughs> well, that's pretty lame. So, you know. Hope you guys can still hear me. I'm trying to like see if I can turn that, cause my character's like like he's talking. Oh, you I'm talking. Anyway, I'm sorry, guys. Um, pacing's bad. Uh, music is okay at times. Character designs. I mean, I I only see Gungrave, and I, I saw Mika. Her eyes are too far apart. Um, overdose remaster. Like, dude, if they remaster, it will look like this, and it'll suck. I mean, I wouldn't want to. But, like, again, like, all these three games are good. They, they are all good. All three of the games are good. It's just, it's, you really have to be like, shit, this game is hard. You can't sleep on, like, what you do. You actually have to be, like, on the move and shit. So this game really does encourage momentum. And encourage you to, like, be on your toes. Um... And, and, uh, you really have to master the controls to this game. It's very, conv it's a little convoluted, but you have to master the controls. That's how it's always been. Um, like, just listening to this cutscene, like, this, this game's theme over and over again is so fucking bad. His, his cannon doesn't even look like a coffin anymore. If you think about it, it didn't look like a coffin anymore, you know, like, it's just so much to it. But anyway, 
yeah. Final verdict, like again, the game's like a like a six out of ten where it's playable and like you buy it one day, you play, you're like, oh okay, I'm just, just whatever. But if you're paying too much close close attention to the game, attention to the game, the cutscenes and everything are just so. Ugh. All right, guys, I'm trying to end the stream right here. Uh, hold on, before I do, is it related to Trigun? No. <laughs> Who knows? I definitely don't feel like though, like the. Uh, I definitely feel like though, like the uh, art style specifically. Like, you just felt like somebody, again, just, like, did, like, their own version of Gungrave. It doesn't have any of the anime flair to this game at all. Like, there's no anime art style whatsoever. It's just, you know, it's 3D Gungrave, and it looks weird. Um, so, yeah. I give that a, 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 a cry out of 10. Looks, looks more like a Lego brick than a coffin. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, it looks all bad. Um, all this... Javius says, I hope this game did well enough for them to make another gun grave and learn from their mistakes. I really hope so, too. Um, I, I think there should be no more gun grave, though. I'll be honest with you. I don't know what the story is. The game won't even tell you the story. The story's fucking also, like, just... Not, it's almost not existent. You just don't want to fucking tell you, and it's pissing me off. It really is. Um... What's the point of making a gun grave? <laughs> I've been always about it to the story, you know? It's been there the entire time. Um Abishon says it's honestly something like cell shaded. Like Borderlands 1, Telltale, Walking Dead could work for remaster if you ask me. Probably. But uh I'm just scared of like the idea of like, you know, tainting any more of this game than need be. Like, don't fuck up this game anymore. <laughs> don't fuck up this series anymore, is what I meant to say. Uh, I, I guess I'm just too scared that there are some companies that just have, again, caved into the whole bullshit, woke nonsense, and now you are like you don't get to really want to play what you want without being, you know, again, lecture that you're a piece of shit white man or some dumb shit. I ain't trying to, like, talk too much about that. All I'm saying is, uh, again, it's, it's not a bad game. This is not a bad game. You might see me sometime in the future, 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 play this again. But I, I, again, am not trying to be that invested in this game. The, the, the these, these, ma these missions are so drawn out with the way I am, the way I like to talk to people and pause the game and talk to people. Um, I don't see myself trying to, like, make this any more and in, into any more parts. Um, but again, it's, it's not bad. But the animations, the cutscenes, the graphics, the the motion capture, like whatever it is, all of that is dog water, dog shit. I still play it if I got nothing else to play. I still play it. All right, guys. <clears throat> I'm like, I'm definitely gonna have a stream right here. So thank you guys for tuning in and. uh Thank you for joining. For so we got some new people here. We got got to you know got he got his posse in here. You know what I'm saying? Like he got his some his his folks. Um, you know checking me out. So that's pretty awesome. And uh, all right, here we go. Yeah, there we go. We're in the junkyard now, boys. Like we've been in the junkyard, but like this is what it looks like. <laughs> at night. Um Just stay tuned for anything I got coming, man. Uh I just yeah, I've been I I have a I haven't really been doing a lot, so I focus too much and try to set these streams up than I am trying to edit and create videos, but I'm sorry guys. So Look, I don't know you don't want to hear that. I'm just tired and like I'm glad that you guys got a chance to check me out. But thank you. Naturally they got to the try gun walking at the center Abby Strong, JVO, Boss Theory, Finger Licker, um Give me a second. Uh Fallen Angel. Conguitos Conguitos Nacho Libre. 
Mr. Master Sprinter Sand one. Uh, we got Babylon Astronaut. Yeah, we got Babylon Astronaut. We got that one mofo who's new to the junkyard. Um. It'll come to me, man. I am. It's like I, I keep saying. Oh, we got Vince earlier. Vince was here. Yeah, man. We we got we got some folks. There's someone else I missed, but yeah, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I mean, I don't know what else to say. I'm tired. Um. Yeah, I see the junk out work is coming that way. So, guys, hurry up. All right, all right. You, you, look at you guys. You're already in the motion of leaving right now. So, I ain't got to tell you. So, yeah, you you right there. Get out. Hurry up. Get out. Usually, I have to tell you guys as a group to get the fuck out, right? But, you know, right now, here come the junk out workers, and I'm out. So, that, that saved my voice. That saved my vocal cords. <laughs> you guys are already underneath that fence just crawling out. So, I'm, I'm glad. All right. Clean, clean, preemptive getaway. Hey, where's you the DXRF3? Where's Rev D? Hey, what are you doing over here? Get out of here. Look at all that. Fresh!